The splendor of Erytheos has nearly diminished in the light of the late afternoon sun, throwing its vibrant hues across the sea below and up onto the bridge of Narethus. But the fading day has not yet set your spirits. With unwavering determination, you trace ripples within the city in search of the audacious revolutionaries and the obsidian weapons they stole in the Sapphire Port. Now descending a secret staircase within the Water Watcher Tavern at the behest of a lead, you follow a mysterious cloaked patron towards an exposed wooden platform attached to one end of a long length of rope and planks that hang and sway miles above the ocean's depths below. You said you'd do just about anything for information, but just what exactly have you signed up for? I'm so glad you can't hear me counting down yeah. on the other three, end. Three, two, yeah. three, 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 two, three, one. Three, three, two, one. one. <laughs> three. It's, not, it's not real until you say one. Uh, <laughs> now it's going to be so disappointing. Yeah. Yeah. Welcome back to the stream, everyone. Now that chat has seen the intro and you all have seen the intro, we rejoin our adventurers as you cautiously follow the mysterious cloaked figure that is leading you down a secret passage concealed within the Water Watcher Tavern. Mm -hmm. Emerging into a cramped storeroom, you find an unexpected sight. A makeshift bar crafted from barrels and crates stands before you, but warm candlelight near the bar is almost completely overtaken by the tones of sunset pouring in through a massive opening on the other side of the room. Peering out in that direction, it reveals an exposed platform connected to an old rope bridge hanging miles above the water, water below. The bridge sways precariously above the churning ocean waves, defying gravity which, with each creak and swing. The wind whistles through the open space, tugging at your clothing and unsetting your bat- balance, even here in this mostly enclosed space. So, what would you like to do? We came down here for information, right? Yeah, that was... Well, I think so. Like I said, we kind of... And you had been talking to her? Yeah, we were... And I walked up at the end. Yeah, we were... We were uh, in a aggressive negotiation about where to find um, the gnome, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. With the weapons. As you all reach the bottom and the four of you seem a bit perplexed, Mm -hmm. kind of look amongst each other, trying to figure out exactly what you've signed up for. The cloaked figure turns around, uh, looking back at you. Uh, Anything you'd like to drink before walking the bridge? It's the least we can do. And as, uh, as you, as these words hang in your mind, you can hear footsteps up above in the Water Watcher Tavern uh, as people are shuffling, moving chairs. Um, there seems to be a bit of a commotion and you imagine it might involve you, but you don't know how. Why Why do we need drink before we walk the bridge? Well, some people prefer to take a bit of liquid courage before the tightrope act, but if you'd rather not, I'd I totally understand having your wits about you. I simply wanted to offer. I'm, excuse me, the tightrope act? <laughs> yes, the bridge seemed quite large. Oh, no. I'm talking about this bridge. And she points out in the direction of the, the like, rope bridge that's basically being whipped by the wind as it, yeah. as it blows through. Are we level two yet? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> no wall shame. Not no. yet. <laughs> um... As she points out there, I'll be like, I'll have that drink. All right. Yeah, me too. Uh, she walks over to the makeshift bar, which is basically just barrels with a plank of wood over top. Uh, she cracks open one of the barrels, which is a cask, and fills uh, a cup full of ale, spilling a bit of it onto the floor, places it on the uh, bar top, um, and fills another one for you. I toss it back really fast. Okay. Wait, I am so confused. We are still just agreeing to things and we did not we did not talk about this yet. Why are we walking across the rope? <laughs> not a bridge. No, nope, the rope. <laughs> the well, rope. here here's how the situation works for you. You're looking for information. 
this bridge will take you somewhere where you can get that information. Insight check. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what are your intentions here? I don't know you. <laughs> That's my purse. <laughs> 18. She seems like she's being honest that you may be able to find what you're looking for there, but she's definitely getting a bit of amusement out of stringing you along and not and giving you all the details. And you're sure that this is the only way to get information? Well, this is the way you have available to you. And at the end of the day, we stand to make a bit of profit as well. This Sorry, is... what was your name again? And, <laughs> and who are you with? Who's going to make a profit? My name is Meloria. Meloria. Mm -hmm. As far as the profit, it goes to the Water Watcher Tavern. Of course, I have a small stake in the company myself, but... I mostly just enjoy watching the... How did we find her again? She, she called us over she, in the bar. We, we bribed the bartender. The bartender then kind of gave us the nod to her. Hmm. Okay. And then Odd went and talked to her, and then they came back and brought us, us all down, down the stairs. Yeah. Hmm. But you're the only one that was like talking what, to her during. What that did time. you like ask her? Uh, we were looking for the the no that was, ran off with the weapons. Got it. Okay. Uh, looking for information about the gnome that ran off. With and the weapons. she brought us. And I uh, gave her a lot of money that we had made earlier in the <laughs> in the docks. Got it. It's cool. <laughs> it's fine. Not all. Okay. Of everything. <laughs> Good bit. <laughs> Um, as as you guys are kind of discussing and, and trying to figure out exactly how things are, are being pieced together, you hear uh, from outside, actually, uh, a, a sort of rowdy crowd. One person in particular shouts, oh, I bet they chickened out again! And the woman inside the room with you turns and they're getting a bit rowdy. And Who's getting a bit rowdy? Well, the audience, of course. What audience? You said you were a performer. Did I? You did. I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, so if he crosses this bridge, you'll give us the information? Oh, no, no, no. We don't have the information, but we do know where you can find it. And we don't just let anyone take this bridge. Um... There was one person earlier that attempted it, and, uh, well, they simply got drunk instead. Okay, so let me get this straight. You! Oh, I, okay, so I'm guessing I poke my head out the window. Like, is everybody, like, watching from up top now? Uh, make a perception check That's for me. That's what I was about yeah, yeah. to ask. They definitely yeah. are. <laughs> yeah. So you've invited the whole town to watch four idiots try to cross this bridge. Because you think we're going to make a fool of ourselves. Well, no, if you would like to count yourself in that 14. number, then I will allow you to I do it. I am doing it. <laughs> okay. I know with, a, with a 14, you, you crane your neck around, and yeah. you can... you can. This vantage would normally only allow you to see uh, some balcony areas that are uh, attached to the Water Watcher Tavern. Um, but as you kind of look uh, a bit further out, kind of peek a little more around the corner, you see the crowd uh, actually has gathered um, some of the what you thought were just closed windows actually open to balconies on this on this tavern. There's sort of a uh, promenade that, where they can all stand and watch okay. as people try and cross this bridge. So uh, and while your neck's craned out there, one of them goes, oh, there he is. <laughs> I just smile and wave. Hey. Somehow it seems We're all like waiting. <laughs> Somehow it seems like you, you're trying to make a fool of us, and I won't stand for that. No, no. Listen, I'm not here to make a fool of you. I'm simply here to reap the reward. Well, why are they all watching? Well, need it be said that some people do fall to their deaths trying to cross this bridge. They're placing bets on us. I'm sure a few of them are. Is that how you're making money off of this? Well, then if they're placing There's bets on us, then we should... We should be getting some of this money if they're betting on us. What you get out of this situation is the chance to cross our bridge and get the answers that the you need. The chance to cross your bridge. So the answers, You're more than welcome to leave. The answers are down there. Yes. Yeah, what do we see? I'm going to start walking. The answers the you seek I'm and walking. more. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to cross the bridge too. Yeah. Yeah. But I still think... Looking? What do we see? What do I see on the other side of this bridge? Um, as you all step out onto this I platform... I still want to talk about the money. Okay. I still think that if you're betting on us, 
then somehow we should be making something back. Can we make a persuasion us? check with disadvantage? And I mean, look, information can we is... Can bet on us? Yeah. <laughs> I bet Short. I fall. I know. I was, about to, I, was about to, I was about to hedge my bet by betting negatively on that. Information may be information. Especially, that especially just not. is an 11. But okay. we've also been robbed. As I've told I you know. already, you are getting quite the deal in being able to get the answers that you seek <laughs> and much more. No matter what it is you're looking for, I promise you can find it down there and probably a lot better than... Whatever it is, yes, sir. This can, isn't the last you'll see of me. And I start walking. Can I place the bet I on, believe that. On, a, on me? Um, sure. What, what what would you like to wager? What are the odds? Um, <laughs> you. Yeah, I was about to say. <laughs> we'll say two to one. I wink. <laughs> Double your money if. Okay. I'll put uh, five gold on myself. All right. <laughs> you get across to the make it across. Twice to come yeah. back and get uh, it. Is that what the bet is? <laughs> sure. Okay. All right. Real quick, um, <laughs> real, real quick, this is, um, he, Atmos Seeker tried to redeem, and I don't think it worked. Oh, no. So we should get a d20, a, a roll. Oh, shit, okay. we're going to need mm-hmm. it. Yeah, also, I'm, I'm saying it because we need it. Don't ever forget so my advantage, advantage from Hedge Druid. Like eight <laughs> yeah, yeah, we, so we have one like... from Hedge Druid, and now we have one from Seth. <laughs> Let's see if Wasn't it's it not 14 working. 14 or something like that? Oh, the advantage. Oh, oh advantage. Yeah. 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 Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, we have to count that. We're still in the universe. <laughs> We're still in universe. We're still in universe. Yeah, exactly. Sure. There was something. <laughs> Sorry, I wasn't trying to like disrupt I know, this, but I, I wanted know. us to have that advantage. Yeah, yeah, no. I mean, yeah, before we, <laughs> before we need it. Yeah. yeah. Make sure we have it. Yeah. Before we walk the rope of tight. <laughs> <laughs> the rope of uh, tight. tight. Uh, I see. So, Adma Seeker didn't add the points appropriately, so I'm going to add it on the back end. Just give me a second, and then you can you can actually roll it, and it should work. <gasps> okay, ladies and gentlemen, uh, time for uh, ASMR hacker time here at Constructed Chaos. Our wonderful dungeon master, Atmos, is going to go ahead and... Uh, cool. Sorry, guys. This is a new system, so we're kind of working out the kinks as we go. I talked to Streamlabs. They said that I can't do it offline, so... Their fault. Yeah, their fault. <laughs> uh, but Seb, you should be good to go now if you want to try rolling it. If it doesn't work, I can trigger it manual on, on my end, and, but it's so much more fun if you roll it. triggers it manually, it has to be a 20. That's the rules. Ah, yeah. right. Uh, Those I are the agree rules to that. as written. <laughs> I don't make them. Those are the rules. Those are just them. We just Blame Streamlabs. Yeah. <laughs> so as the four of you now walk out onto this platform uh, in the open air, mm-hmm. a gust of wind buffets you, and you feel... Uh, you feel this breeze that's been rocking the bridge back and forth, almost knock you off your feet. Um, makes you a bit nervous about crossing this bridge, but there there are hand uh, hand ropes on the sides, so uh, it's not like you're just traversing um, over planks and rope. Um, Drazad starting to get nervous because um, clearly he's going to be having to do this, um, and not particularly enjoying water too much um, is going to cast Bless on mm. himself and Odd Nope Fell off. Thank you. And Flora. Hey. How long is this bridge? Um, Now that you're out there make a perception check for me and, and uh, you can make one as well Drazad because I know you asked and I just forgot. No, no, no you're good. Oh. Uh, Atma Seeker's uh, advantage roll was a 10. Yeah. All right, all right. But, okay, sweet. 10 I mean, is, at any 10, point, 10 is better can, than one. Get, yeah. yeah. So I rolled an 18. Okay. Yeah. What was this check? I'm sorry. Perception, right? Yeah. I think so, yeah. 21. 21. Okay. 21. Uh, so, <laughs> both of you, as you look out in the direction that this, this rope bridge spans, you see it actually doesn't go straight across parallel to the bridge of Narathus. It actually tucks underneath the bridge at such an angle that from this uh, from this vantage point, you can't see exactly where it leads, but you can tell it goes under the bridge. So uh, it's safe to assume bridge. that it's longer than 30, 30 feet. feet. Oh, yeah. it's quite a bit longer than 30 we feet. Both uh, yeah. <laughs> 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 we were both at least in the same mindset. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, 30. 
I'll miss no. Are you the one who can teleport? Can yeah. No, I can, no, I, no, 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 I can't either. I can't. Oh, okay. I will hold a misty step until I can see that I'm 30 feet from the end. <laughs> okay. Um, Does that count? Yeah, it counts. As all of you are now grouped up and kind of assessing the situation, the crowd uh, on on the, the, the ramparts here are, are, are cheering. Walk, 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 walk. Yeah, Valoth is going. Yeah, okay. I'm walking. So let's get our marching order as we begin. Valoth is up first. I'll be second then. Second. Uh, you're going to place your minis on the on the bridge here for me. So we're going to use the bridge mostly to keep track of uh, marching Who's order. Who's falling off yet? <laughs> <laughs> can well, I the way this, this is going to work. So I can see. Mm-hmm. But the way this is basically going to work is everyone uh, on their turn is going to get a chance to uh, make a skill check or perform some action. Um, we're going to go in order of the marching order as opposed to normal initiative. And at varying points, I'll ask for rolls and uh, we'll see how things go. Uh, assuming you succeed, you'll be able to move forward. This bridge is extremely difficult terrain, so you're only moving about five to ten feet at a time. Um, and you won't be able to get around somebody unless you try and do something special. If someone's it taking a like, long time. If someone gets stuck or something like that. Something like that. That is what there's a lot of demand. So, as you all step out onto the bridge, the crowd begins to cheer. You can hear them just barely above the sounds of the whipping wind as it rocks the, the, the bridge from side to side. You feel your knuckles whiten as you grip the ropes on either side of you, just praying that the wind does not decide to send you tumbling over down to the ocean below. As we begin, Valoth, what are you doing? Valoth, Valoth is just continuing forward, but um, prepared to teleport back up to the bridge if needed. Okay. Um, but is, is just otherwise crossing the bridge as if it's... I mean, it's windy, so he is like trying to keep his footing, but as if it's just like a normal bridge, just... Okay. Moving forward, nothing special, nothing fancy. Make a uh, acrobatics check for me. <laughs> As you go to step, the wind slaps the bridge and uh, sends it in a wave, uh, almost causing you to lose your footing. Bless we add on each round? Mm -hmm. Or is it just once but and then it goes away? Right? Once, Every, once per turn. Once per turn. I didn't know if it was once per turn or like once you use it, it's gone. It's, it's like once guidance. per turn. Yeah, it doesn't okay. actually specify. Might as well add it then. I would recommend. Or saving throw before the spell ends the well, so before the bless, it was a 17. After it is a 21. Okay, yeah. Rousing success. As you kind of step forward, you use that momentum that the bridge has to your advantage, propelling you forward uh, and landing on a board that feels a bit rotten. But you, you stabilize and you hear people, Yeah! The last guy didn't even make it that far! Oh um, Flora, what yeah. are you doing? I'm going to get low. Okay. And try to like crawl to keep my center of gravity okay. lower. Okay. And disperse it. Yeah. Your weight over more mm -hmm. more surface. <clears throat> Make so a... I get advantage. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, we're not gonna say advantage, but I am I am gonna have you make a The crowd gives us inspiration. <laughs> Drop it like it's at hot. The body, at the body, at the let's uh let's say a uh uh <laughs> investigation check investigation what the hell on a bridge five <laughs> don't forget that you you have less. <laughs> so <laughs> seven <laughs> <laughs> not I, I hate to point this out so bless technically is just for <clears throat> attack rolls or saving throws so I don't. Not so checked. five. So it's been seventeen instead of twenty-one. So five. So five. <laughs> oh, good. Um, there is also Atmos Seekers ten if you want it. I do. Okay. <laughs> well, you know what? No, I'm gonna save that. Okay. For a critical fail. Got it. So as you, <laughs> <laughs> as you get down low and begin to uh, crawl forward, um, <laughs> you're. Uh, the wind sort of moves the bridge in such a way that you're not quite prepared for it. and because you're low you can't grab the, the arm ropes that are up top I and you begin to ropes. slip off the bridge make a uh, uh, roll a d6 for me <laughs> oh my god oh 
Oh. I thought I was being smart. Make an, mm -hmm. oh no, make a d6 roll. That was a one. Ooh. Okay. Um, it's just like a wild magic table. <laughs> yeah, I die. Floor as as you begin to slide off, luckily your uh, your staff of flowers gets caught in some of the ropes. You're able to pull yourself back up, but now the staff is completely tangled in, and you can't move unless you free it. So you're stuck there for now. Or leave it behind. I'm sure I don't. Yeah, don't, don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on, we have Odd. Um, Moving on, he says. Yeah. Is there space to move up? Well, floor is stuck in front of you. You can That's try to assist her to free her, but that would be your action. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Okay, um, make a athletics check for me. Are you the bridge? Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Has anyone figured out the surprise yet? <laughs> uh, let's see. That's gonna be a night. Oh, Jesus, okay. I'm so nervous. Um, Come on. Reaching down, uh, seeing Flora struggle to pull the staff out, uh, you grab one side of the bridge where it's tangled and you grab the staff with the other hand and pull it out so as not to, to jerk one thing or, or, or the other. You don't want to slow hurt the bridge. Pull, yeah. yeah, and you don't want to uh, send yourself flying off the end whenever it does release. And you do allow Flora to be released now, uh, but you just barely make it back up to your feet and you're just waiting for her to, to start moving. Drazad. Uh, is the rope is real quick question. Is the mm -hmm. handrail ropes? The handrail is ropes. And yeah, sorry, they, I, I got so much glue on my hands that I didn't have time they, to do that part, but it is there. Are they suspended or are they connected to the bridge? The ropes are connected to the bridge as well. Uh, they basically run back to these posts here. Right. Um, and, and then, they connect they downwards. Yeah. They have uh, so stuff. you can't tie yourself off. That's what I was looking at. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Sorry, Drazad. Mm, no, I'm so thinking it's okay. Give me extra time. Drazad's um, <laughs> very nervous. Okay. So he is going to grab each side of the bridge and okay. full on OSHA safety regulation style <laughs> um, as a climbing ladder. Three points of contact always. Okay. And make his way <laughs> across the room. <laughs> Punch Odd um, right here. Punch Odd. So you're able to yeah. get right up against the back of Odd here. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm holding up everyone. <laughs> that's kind of the that's kind of the game here. Yeah. So uh, as you shuffle forward, I'm gonna have you make an intelligence uh, check. Okay. Let's say, um, yeah, just raw intelligence check. Where's my super Where's suit? My yeah, literally. Suit? Let's say an intelligence save, actually. And you'll Psych. be able to add, but yeah. Oh, my bad, yeah. Nine. 14. Okay. Um, as you begin to move forward, uh, just as Odd was pointing out, there are parts where you have to kind of let go of the rope to grab the next section. Um, and knowing that you need to be vulnerable for that set amount of time you're looking for when the the bridge is swaying down at the end and trying to time just right so you can move whenever the bridge is most still you're able to move forward no problem okay so now we're back up to the top valoth what are you doing the crowd is cheering um and uh one of them you hear says oh i thought the little girl was gonna fall off drop it drop it down. yeah same thing. Um, noticing that he stepped on like a a slightly rotten board, he'll be more careful with his footing. Okay. But um, and pay more attention to like where he's stepping, but otherwise not changing much about his strategy. Okay. Let's call this a stealth check because you're trying to be as tenderfooted as possible. I think that's probably the best check for that. All the checks. Oh, that's 21. <laughs> nice. Um, <laughs> plus, plus two to stealth. Can't wait placing, the... placing your weight mostly on the guard ropes on either side, you're able to sort of propel yourself forward and then bring your hands back up to meet you. Um, you uh, are far enough across now that you can see that the bridge extending underneath the bridge of Narathus um, leads to a small platform um, that's open to what appears to be 
a myriad of wooden pathways and walkways all suspended beneath the bridge. And how far away about am I from that now? Um, <laughs> probably about... <laughs> we're going to say each one of these is 20 feet, so we'll, we'll say 40 feet. Okay. Okay. Uh, moving on in the initiative, Flora. Yeah, I'm going to take a note out of Drasad's book. Okay. Three points of contact. Oh, sure. <laughs> you, stand, you stand up from the ground. <laughs> yeah. Real slow. Uh, okay. Make a uh, intelligence save. It is intelligence save, so you can't add your D4. Oh, I can't oh your D4. no. Did you roll <laughs> bad again? Take the 10. It's the glitter die. I can't read it. I'm, I'm going to take the 10. <laughs> must have been pretty bad. Okay. So then this was a 3, so 15. Oh, because you get plus 2 to it? Yeah, 3 plus and your 2. Yeah, and the D4. Yeah. <laughs> got it, got it. Okay, okay. Uh, <laughs> yes, yes. That's Just like your friend, after after kind of watching what uh, Drazad did, you're you're taking notes and and successfully doing the same thing. You're able to uh, move yourself forward, although you see Valoth far in the distance. Uh, and you do feel a little bit bad about holding up the line. You don't feel bad at all that you did not, not fall to your I death. I don't feel bad at all. <laughs> <laughs> That's totally I'm fair. You there. Okay. The rings the race. Uh, odd. It is your go. You have space in front of you to move. Um. I would like to. Uh, I would like to put on a show. Oh okay. My God. Uh, like, make make a performance check. Yeah, I mean, exactly. explain explain to me what you're doing, but yeah, I think I'm going to do uh, the uh, full ballet twirl. Yeah, <laughs> almost like that's exactly what I was thinking. Like when you hold the the beam and kind of like. Flip back and forth and like <laughs> okay and fl like flourish when I finish. He parallels. Got it. Yep. Ah! <laughs> 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 What's your favorite color? Blue. No. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, non nat twenty. Okay. Yeah. Uh, you flourish successfully. And like definitely like. It yeah, you throw a hand out to the crowd. Uh, everyone begins cheering, and as they raise their hands for a split moment, time moves in slow motion, and you see, perched upon the balcony, observing your struggles, a, a mysterious figure oh, that, that stands in weathered armor, their visage concealed by intricate weavings, unique fabrics cascade down, transforming into threads adorned with delicate needles exuding an aura of skilled artistry. They appear to reach for a small blade at their side, but stop short and pause for a moment, bring their hand back, and walk back inside the tavern out of your view. Was any of that familiar to me? Like, I've seen these guys before? Uh, yeah. Okay. You've definitely <laughs> seen... You know exactly. Oh, okay. yeah. You know exactly yeah, what I this is. Uh, you're uh, odd... Looks a bit shaken. Yeah. Uh, but you do progress. Not stirred. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Drazad, it's your go. What would you like to do? Um, first, I would like to let everyone. <laughs> everyone, uh, it seems if we uh, do the timing, if we time ourselves with the wind from the end of the bridge, we will be okay. We will make it across the bridge. We will make it. We will make it. OSHA style. We you're, talk, make you're talking it. to yourself. <laughs> or, <laughs> we will make it. <laughs> or us. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. No, see, I'm, tro I'm trying to give myself inspiration. <laughs> Make another intelligence save. Eleven. Okay. As you move forward, uh, you see the bridge whipping to one side, and you think you might be able to just slide your hand up really fast, but it reaches you way quicker than you were expecting. I need you to roll the uh, d6 for me. Hey everyone, oh the wind the god. wind is not working. <laughs> <laughs> oh my this, god. This plan was not good. Six. A 6. I don't know if that's good or not. Yeah, yeah cuz a 1 wasn't one, 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 one didn't let you die. Yeah. Yeah. I'm telling you, it's like a wild magic table, you'll never it know. It must be. <laughs> Do you have the spear? We were looking for no. 3. Who has, the, has spear? the spear? You yeah. have the spear. Do I have? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> As the bridge whips and it reaches you, uh, you're rocked to one side, and as you do, your bag comes open, um, 
and some of your gear goes tumbling out. Uh, okay. Um, I'm guessing you have like an explorer's pack or a burglar's pack or something like that with your character. Uh, yeah, I don't know what it is. I don't, hold on, I have to go you look at that fast. pack. It's a, well, it breaks it all out. I'm pretty yeah, sure the, it's the a, whole backpack thing. Yeah, yeah, it it, it gives you the it like the you bed roll, the mess kit, the, the rations, yeah, the rope, it's all, the tinder box. Yeah, all that stuff. No, that's all what I have. So while you figure that out, yeah, I yeah. will tell you that you're not able to advance a space because you're clutching the side of the bridge, and all that gear. Your bedroll, rations, it was an explorer's rope. Pack. Yeah, yeah, okay. Basically, everything that came in your explorer's pack goes okay. tumbling out. You watch oh it plummet. Okay. You do feel a bit lighter on your feet, though. <laughs> Advantage? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Valoth, it's your go. Um, and two more, two more solid. I'm, I'm forty. I'm forty feet away. <laughs> yeah. Really Valoth is gonna be <laughs> as careful as he can and only travel <laughs> half of. The, normally, he's traveling twenty per turn. Mm -hmm. He only wants okay. ten. Okay. Does that get me any kind of anything on the on the roll? I'll give you plus three to the roll for okay. that. Okay. And not quite advantage. And what kind of roll? Um, and you're being careful as you as you can. Uh, yeah. we'll we'll go with stealth again. I feel like that's probably the best thing for it. Uh, plus three, plus two, eighteen. Okay. Yeah. Uh, nimbly. Now that you find, now that you're a bit closer to the end. The bridge isn't rocking quite as hard as it was. Um, can I? You can tell the middle is is the worst part. Is that my entire turn, or can I use my um, starlight step to get the rest of thirty feet? Uh, to that's going to be your action, but on your next turn, okay. you sh you should be able to do that. Cool. Flora, am I within thirty feet at the end? No, I you. Am. Yeah, <laughs> you're you're about eighty feet. Eighty. You just yeah. flew across. Okay. Like Again, we're mostly using this this terrain as like a marker of where everyone yeah. is. So then I want to try to get my full thirty feet by walking again, but holding on to the side. Okay. Um, you guys are moving at about twenty feet per time. Just FYI. Twenty. Yeah. yeah. Move one plank, and he said one each plank is twenty feet. Okay. Yeah, that's kind of how we're estimating it. Got it. Um, and you're you're trying to time your movements keeping a hand on either side the whole time okay um make a uh, intelligence save again for me d4 <laughs> i saw the eye roll <laughs> 12 okay uh with your 12 you make a very similar mistake to drazad in moving your hand up before you really should. You should have waited just a second longer, but being close to the middle of the bridge, it's moving a lot more than what you're comfortable with. Uh, and so you try to rush it. Uh, your hand slips off, roll me a d6. Not a six. Okay. You go to grab the, the rope where you thought it was going to be and because the bridge rocked it's no longer there your hand is grasping at air and you get a feeling like you're falling you're still gripping the other rope so you're safe but the fear is deep rooted in you you are paralyzed you cannot move until your next round can I use a bonus action? no why not? because this is not uh, your traditional usual combat. or traditional initiative I'm basically giving you like one thing each turn either movement or an action or bonus action. Even if it's to teleport? <laughs> yes, especially if it's to teleport. <laughs> we got uh, another uh, advantage. Oh Ooh, my gosh, yeah. there he is. Okay, yeah. uh, so for whatever reason, Streamlabs is not linked up, so I'm going to do it manually. You guys just try and uh, keep me informed. Let me know when this stuff happens. Boom, there it is. Well, on our side. Let's see. Let's and there's the 20. Oh, 20. Yay. There's the 20. All right. Well, that count as a critical. Thank you. I that that, that would be a crit success. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Natural 20 yeah, if yeah. anybody wants it. We're it's using there. it to hit so we double the damage. <laughs> uh, I moving take on. The bridge. For the yeah. I take the 20. <laughs> yeah, I take the 20. <laughs> uh, there is space for you to move. Okay. Um, uh, can I do another flourish? Does that make sense or oh. not? Oh. 
I actually moved Flora, and I shouldn't have. Cool. I'm sorry. She's stuck. I thought I moved. Yeah, because no. you well, you failed the the check. Uh, I moved I... you before you checked, and I'm so sorry. There's not space. There for is me. not space for you to move unless you want to try something special. You could go underneath. I could go over her, right? You can try. Can't go under. <laughs> Can't go around her. <laughs> Gotta go through her. <laughs> um, <laughs> what can I do instead to help her? Um, you can. You <laughs> yeah. can allow her to remake her. Uh, to try and 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 Spend come to terms time. with her her fear. Yeah. Um. She, you would allow her to make a, yeah. a wisdom save. I would bolster her. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Hey, hey, you can do it. Get up. I can do it. <laughs> what do I roll? <laughs> wisdom save. D4. D4. <laughs> okay. D4. Okay. 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 D4. I don't think this D4 mattered as much no, as the other I ones. got to. 21. Oh, 21. Yeah. 21. As soon as you have that sort of reassuring voice in your, in your friend, this person that has uh, more or less signed up to watch over you, yeah. you're like, oh, yeah, he's got my back. I'm yeah. fine. Jeez. I can do it. I can do I'm it. Your, I'm your legal, How far do I move I'm, now? I'm your legal guardian. <laughs> That's the fun part. Yeah. You don't, but you can move uh-huh. on your next turn. Uh-huh. <laughs> oh, instead of her getting stuck on it. Yeah. Okay, okay. Basically, you would have made the check for yeah, your yeah. turn, yeah. but now you, you'll you get to. Gotcha. Yeah. Uh, moving on, now we have Drazad. You still have that space that you can move into yep. uh, as your bag has now been emptied. Aww. Oh, I feel uh, so much light there. At least it was nothing important. Oh, you'll hear kind of Drazad in the back. Just <laughs> You'll basically hear him go, oh my god, Drazad, you are so stupid, stupid, Drizad, stupid. Drazad, you can do it! You are <laughs> yeah, a dragonborn, yeah. Drazad. I'm going to try to give my my blessings over to him. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Flor. Thank you, Flor. I have completely forgotten, my friend. I have a tail, and I use my tail to also wrap. <laughs> okay, okay. I have completely forgotten. I have completely That's forgotten. Why I, really this go, I, was like, I heard you say that. And I was like, what is he talking about? Um, um, so yeah, I would like to maintain four points of contact. Um, I'll just have my two hands and my tail while I'm walking. I'm gonna make yeah. this a sleight of hand check because now you're sort of coordinating Uh-oh. a lot of different opinions. No d4s to this. <laughs> <laughs> I will. I will give you a plus. A plus three to the roll. This might have been a mistake. <laughs> I forgot a, to have with tail. The plus I have. Yeah. Plus yes. On top of yeah. Okay. Uh, plus three additional. Yeah. Okay. I like. I like what you're doing. Take oh the no. Take the oh yeah. Okay. Take I'll the take the <laughs> there, <laughs> there, is also, <laughs> there is also a ten. You don't have to take the twenty. No. Yeah. No. Morgan I took. That oh, you took the ten. Yeah. That's right. No. I have to take the twenty. Uh. <laughs> Out of curiosity, what'd you roll? And that one. And that one. Yeah. <laughs> so what? Six total. It, this is what we're talking about. Five, this is this five. is how this is how <laughs> we're, we're we've been oh. saved by these rolls oh, before. Jesus, the panic that been, just washed over yeah, me. Yeah, it would have been five. So twenty four. <laughs> so um, as you're you're completely sure that. Thanks. So. Now that you have this extra point of contact, you'll be safe. You start moving a little bit less cautiously. The bridge rocks and. You feel the strength of your tail wane a bit, mm-hmm. and you begin to realize that maybe the strength of a tail is not quite as much as a hand. <laughs> mm-hmm. um, and so you barely hang on. Um, Are you saying he had erectile dysfunction? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! I'm so glad you're here. That was great. That was the best. That Maybe was the start best. keeping track of your dad jokes, Brett. <laughs> but in a moment of weakness, you see the opportunity to propel yourself even further. You have faith, you let go of the rope with your tail and catapult yourself forward with two hands outstretched, grabbing the next length. Because you used a natural 20, you are now (gasps) right behind. I I knew Um, you could do it. I kind of, instead of my tail holding on, it kind of like whips between my legs and like, (laughs) Like, like a dog, dog on yeah. Yeah. and I'm just like, oh, God, God, I am so scared, Dad. Oh my God, did you see oh what I just did? <laughs> what oh my God, <laughs> <laughs> do you know? Can we get off this bridge, <laughs> Valoth? It is your go. You see, um, everyone behind looking forward. You see, oh. <laughs> fuck this. Bridge. The air start to <laughs> twist around Valoth, and it almost looks like the wind is doing weird things until you see Valoth disappear into like a black hole and then reappear 30 feet at the end of the, okay. the bridge. Valoth, you are on the wooden platform. Here comes all the jeers. 
<laughs> you you uh, <laughs> you hear some people in the stands uh, call out, "Oh, that's cheating! There's no way! He's not supposed to do that!" Shut up! I paid good money for this seat. All right, um, Flora. That's now your go. Okay, so how much did you pay? I'm, I'm like sixty away. Uh, now you are. You're still 80. You didn't move yeah. last time. Ugh. But now you can move the thumb. Now I can yeah. move Now you can be 60. I <laughs> am going to do something crazy. Okay. Ooh. So timing it with the sway is not really working for me, is it? Do not do not use your tail. I'm going to run. Ooh. Okay. Um, like dash? Like like Johnny, what's his name? Poopoo -poo pants? With the Pirates of the Caribbean. <laughs> Johnny, Johnny Depp. Depp. Oh, Johnny Depp. <laughs> okay. Did you say Johnny Peach? <laughs> Johnny, what's his name? Oh. <laughs> Johnny. It is oh. fitting that we do not have any rolls for you to pull from because I'm going to have you do this at disadvantage. Okay. But you are making an acrobatics check. Okay, doke. As you try to place each of your footfalls on the board, watching for the next move and preparing yourself to leap in that direction. Oh, yeah, no. Do I get bless on this? No, not technically. No. Nope. Five. All right. Uh, I will say that you're able to get one space further, <laughs> but you step onto that rotten piece of wood. Oh no! Hey, I didn't call it out to you guys. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> roll, a, roll a d6. What an asshole, man. <laughs> now we all die because yeah. of one of us. Okay. Uh, as you fall to the ground, your shield actually clips the piece of wood, uh, breaking it, and you become completely ensnared by this piece of wood uh, and in such a way that you know if you move your shield, you're going to fall. You cool. need to be rescued. <laughs> cool. Cool. But cool. you moved. Cool. <laughs> so, cool, 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 cool. At least you moved. I mean, moved. timing it wasn't yeah. working, so. Uh, odd. Um, so well, honestly, if this were me in real life, I'd be running across that bridge. I oh, I know. Uh, yeah. yeah, I don't think I can get to her and help and her. Help her. Yeah. Uh, cool. Not without imposing disadvantage on yourself. I, I would allow you to, to yeah, try. I'm not going to do oh that. God. Yeah. <laughs> oh <my. laughs> you do hear the crowd like erupt like, oh, she's going to fall. She's going to fall. Uh, can we do the same checks we did before? Yeah. Okay. You can do this exact same thing. Same thing. Like a, a, a like a kind of a tumble, a dance across. You okay. Know? Fancy footwork. Make a performance check. Yeah. Smart to play uh, 20, to your strengths. 22. Okay. Yeah, you make it no problem. Uh, though, out of the corner of your eye, you are watching for that figure that was at, at the ramparts only moments ago. Okay. I mean, uh, I can't do shit about it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, there is some small part of your mind that is wondering uh, if they'll show up somewhere else. Can we do a, can I do a perception check to see if you're still watching? Kind of? um, I'll say next turn. Okay. If you would like to, you can, right, I'm you not can do that. I'm not going to use my action to, do that, to get off the bridge. Okay. Right. Some weird ghost talking to me over here. <laughs> uh, Drizad, it's now your go. We have a you saw Odd uh, just flip a forward. A D4? A D4. Got it. Okay. I'm you're rolling it, guys. I'm rolling it. You're wonderful. <laughs> Luckily, I can do it from my hand. Get it. From my hand. <laughs> and it's a one. Oh. You know, it's better than nothing. But you guys can take the one and add it to any roll. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It is a one. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, mm, I think Drizod's just going to keep trying to move forward at this point. Okay. Uh, same strategy as before. Three points or four points? No, just... Three, no, Five Drizod points. He doesn't move. <laughs> yeah, you've learned not to trust that yeah, tail. Drizod's no. tail is still kind of tucked in between his legs. Okay. Um, yeah, I think I'm just gonna. All feet, all hands, tail and mouth. So we'll say intelligence Wait. save again if that's what you want to do. Let me try crawling, like what Flora was doing. Okay. Then we'll say investigation. That's what no D four. I know. I'm I'm trying to re rely on just checks, but then for uh, intelligence, I goofed and said uh, save because yeah. there's not a whole lot I feel like applies. Uh, Fifteen. Okay. There's nature. Uh, as you I get you were doing nature. That's what I was saying. Yeah. Like, as you get lower, uh, you can see uh, ahead of you that the boards are solid, <laughs> uh, and knowing that you can't grab onto the sides. Uh, 
you make sure that you're uh, keeping your body as flat as possible as you move across so the wind isn't pushing against you. That's where the wisdom and investigation takes in. I will walk across you! <laughs> Uh, so you're able to move forward, no problem. I, I had to do a dex check on mine, my oh, first okay. one. It was an acrobatics dex. Like yeah, you did. It all changes. Oh, I did. Uh, so, Valoth, it's now your go. You're on the other end of the bridge. Is there anything you'd like to do? Unless someone wants me to cast silvery barbs on them, no. Okay. <laughs> Fair enough. You can cast one on me. <laughs> no. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. It's a joke. You gotta wait. Yeah, wait for her. Yeah, Valoth will just, like, he'll do his best to try to, like, point things out to them now that he's on the other side and can spare some attention span okay. to not focus Shoot on getting a across. Shoot at me and just stab it into my side and pull me across. Oh, I, can, I can firebolt you. I can throw you. You know what? He will extend his mage hand 30 feet out, so it, whoever gets to 30 feet, he can help okay. pull them across. You can only exert 10 pounds of force with that, but that oftentimes whatever, is little, whatever little yeah. bit, yeah, whatever little bit he can it's give with like, the hand. So like what I'm going like to do balance. mechanically for that is I'm basically just going to lower the, the DC for some of these these checks. You give somebody a pat on the back. Like, good job. <laughs> <laughs> Flora? Just get scared and fall off the bridge. <laughs> run and then bonus action. Uh, you're also basically stuck right now. Okay, well then I'll I'll do my um teleport yeah okay I that would get you unstuck oh, quite okay. easily yeah, and I, it'll yeah. move me 30 feet okay so i can do that because of something yep and i'm gonna misty step Damn, okay somebody's taking the fate touch as their first feet I'm the only one that can't teleport. I took it. <laughs> That's why I have it. Uh, you guys see as uh, Flora is hanging by her shield in between this this broken board, uh, roots and vines begin to extend out from the shield, mm-hmm. uh, envelop her, uh, and then disperse in a cloud of leaves as she appears 30 feet ahead. Uh, you now see that the board is completely split. Uh, it is a gap that you will have to leap coming up behind Sorry, her. everybody. Tough it's shit. not, I mean, it had, no matter what you I did, that was going to be the case. Yeah. Yeah. It is okay. At least you told us about it. Someone didn't. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> How far am I from the edge now? Uh, you are 30 feet from What's the edge. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry. I can't hear you from all the way over here. <laughs> oh. I can't hear you. Oh, is the wind blowing yeah. too hard? <laughs> I can't hear no, you not really. From it was quite easy. Yeah, exactly. And your mage hand is at 30 feet. Yeah. Cool. Uh, odd, it's now your go. Uh, so I gotta jump this thing? Uh, you would have to, yes. Okay. It would be an uh, acrobatics or athletics check. Oh, Jesus. Can you fly? Can you, you f- can you flare across with, with performance? Wings? Yeah, can I fly? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Right, you, you definitely gotta be one of those five. Hmm? For every plus on your strength modifier. Okay. All right. We're gonna, yeah, yeah do one of those things. Jump. You guys do have the plus one D4 there. It, it could be the difference between pass or fail, so. Should I use my... Heads drew the advantage. Yeah, I'm gonna use my heads drew the advantage. Okay, there it is. Yeah. He's burning it. Tell him. <laughs> I got a 19. Awesome. Plus two. Mm-hmm. Okay, 21. yeah. So easily you Definitely. leap over yeah. this broken this board. No. Yeah. You land right behind Flora and feel yourself begin to lean back a bit, but Ooh. grab onto the lo- the ropes, and you're the you are the ropes. You grab yeah. onto the ear, <laughs> ears, yeah. Flora's yeah. ears. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Drizad, it's now your go. You have quite a bit of uh, ground in front of you. All the room to walk. You're you're kind of on all fours right now, so you can continue that way if you'd like. Yeah, I think I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna have to continue on like that at least for this twenty feet, because this is the broken board, correct? Right yes. Now. Okay. Yeah, I think I'll just. Continue snaking along at the bottom. Right. Mistake. It was uh, what was it again? Investigation, because you're kind of looking at the 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 boards in front of you yeah, and yeah. figuring out. Uh, fourteen. Okay. Plus your D four. No, it's, uh, it's been investigation. Damn it! Yeah, I know. Every time. Uh, with your fourteen, you're able to move forward, but the bridge is rocking, and you almost roll off. You're able to grab one of the boards in front of you and hold yourself steady, but it makes you feel a bit uneasy. The fact that you might have just tumbled to your death. Um, next, we have Valoth. You're still assisting, I assume. With the yeah. mage hand. 
Okay. Flora? Okay, I'm going to reach out for a mage. Everyone, hand. this is not okay. very easy. Um, which I'm going to call Maggie, and <laughs> I'm going to try to walk across. Okay. Um, you you want to make the rest of the... my hand. You want to make the rest <laughs> of the 30 feet? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I will say... Don't, don't do that. Let's make it a flat roll of uh, acrobatics as you kind of try to just, like, leap across and have the mage hand kind of... Acrobatics? Yeah. I mean, realistically, wouldn't a male name this mage hand? Okay. Balance wouldn't. <laughs> For obvious reasons. <laughs> Because the DC has been lowered and the mage hand just barely helps you, pulls you that extra 10 feet, you do clear the bridge and Woo-hoo! make it to safety. You did a double move? No. Oh. I just jumped and mage It hand was 30 closer. feet, so she moved further than, oh, okay. than usual, but the mage hand kind of helped her out. Odd, it's your go. You have 40 feet left. I am going to turn around, pull out a rope. And I'm thinking I'm going to tie the rope off to the bridge. Okay. And make a loop and throw the other side to Drissai. Okay. Mm, so you can get to where you're at. Yeah. Let's if, make this a survival check. Yeah. Because we're testing your not, not tying skills. All right. I like that. I want to I wanna yeah. do everything I can to help make this next jump. Got it. Oh, that's not good. We have the one. I don't think anybody's used it yet. The D4. Uh, this is going to be, let's see, um, a six. Okay. Uh, you tie the rope yep. in such a way that you, you feel like it should be sturdy enough. You give it a couple tugs and you toss it to Drazad. Drazad, you see Odd has tossed you this rope, mm-hmm. this lifeline to kind of help you uh, stay <laughs> centered. Tie yourself off. <gasps> not on your tail. Oh, my God. No, no, no. I will not use the tail anymore. Thank you so much. And I'll not tie myself necessarily, I don't think. Put it in your but mouth. Her. Wrap. <laughs> like, kind of like wrap it around my wrist a couple times. Okay. And are you uh, moving forward? The board in front of you is, is broken. Um, is there enough room for him to come to where I'm at? Unfortunately, Sorry, no. I'm not if he... He would have to, like, try and... Leap over you or balance on the ropes like, themselves. Hug you. Not, yeah. Like you're riding you a go. motorcycle together. Um, <laughs> we can basically just go back to your turn now because it's just bouncing between the two of you at this yeah. point. Yeah. I mean, if you'd after like to just that, basically wait. After that, uh, yeah, because like, I don't have anything else I can do. Plot, plot want, your jump. I want the room, For your turn. Yeah, right. that's right. And then <laughs> I, I'll move and clear some wave. I would like. Well, okay. Can I do a uh, tree You're doing your performance thing yeah, again? Yes. <laughs> I'm assuming you're going to pass that. No. no. I got an eight. <laughs> um, do I uh, need roll a d6 for me. Uh, okay. Five. All numbers we haven't gotten before. Okay. No. Oh, no. Oh, no. That's a lot of reading. As... <laughs> <laughs> As you begin to sort of uh, frolic your way ahead, uh, feeling a bit overconfident, you push just a bit too hard on the wood under tow. That board begins to break as well. Oh my god! Which was odd. The, was a bad idea. Not only are there two gaps of of broken wood now, um, but the ropes that are sort of uh, bridging that gap are now. Shaking wildly and barely holding the bridge together. Oh, what right the there. hell am I supposed to do? Um, Choose you're sort greatness. Of, you're sort of suspending yeah. yourself on the ropes themselves with the broken board just underneath you. Uh, <laughs> and I didn't move, right? Yeah, you did not yeah. move. Trezad, uh you're kind of stuck here unless you want to try and do something really crazy. Yeah. Um. I think you try to like shimmy your way down the rope. You know Wait, I mean? we we still have turns, right? You we, do. We've yeah. kind of skipped this. I would. I just assumed I'm, you were doing since the same I'm thing. kind of focusing on Mage Hand. Oh God, I would ask gave Flora. Us $80. Holy, Holy crap, crap. Wow. Jose! Thank, thank you. you. Uh, I'm gonna hop in right away and give you oh, some yeah, points here. I would tell. Oh my gosh! Flora, thank you so though. much. I think that's oh. the biggest. I think that's the biggest yeah, donation really awesome. we've thank ever gotten. You. Wow! Thank you. I hope I hope you're enjoying the session. Yeah. Thank you so much. We are going to die. 
<laughs> what do you mean we are going to die? No, I am going to seeing, die. Seeing that the rope is now like kind of flat, <laughs> like maybe like from our end, try to like pull it more taut. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Jose, it oh, looks like you Bob just newest, hopped then. in, so I don't have points. I don't have you in the loyalty system yet. But as soon as you show up, I'm gonna I'm gonna add a ton of points for you. Uh, I think that's <laughs> yeah, like eight thousand so points. points. So thank I get an advantage, you. in other words, for Jose, right? Yes. Yeah. Just yeah. <laughs> um, but did you hear what what Floor's doing? We're gonna hold on to the ropes to hold them tighter. Okay. To try to keep them from yeah. flapping around oh, like you good said. Good idea. Okay. Nice. Uh, I will say. It'll make it if you're if you're gonna try and bridge yourself across the ropes specifically, uh, it'll make it easier for you to do that. Can I also? Um, I'm gonna shout out to Odd. Odd, throw him a rope and then tell him to tie it around his waist. Yeah, where did where, the rope that he threw me? Where is this t- that tied to? The bridge where he is standing. I think. It's tied off to the rope portion of the bridge right next to him, I believe. Okay. Mm. So I'm to assume that there's ropes on the side, and then each board, in between each board, there's ropes. You know what I mean? Like exposed yeah. ropes in between each board at the bottom as well? Yes, there are. Okay. If so you could be, shimmy, if that's what you're right, thinking. Jose. If they're going to hold the ropes <laughs> taut, yeah. or as much as they can, can I roll an insight check or something to like essentially put my weight on like one of the ropes to see how much it bows, if any, once they're holding it. Um, yeah, it's a complicated ask, but I have an idea and I can't. Yeah, you. Onto the bottom. Oh, the, okay, oh I was thinking fine. the arm, the hand rope. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Whatever rope yeah. is flapping or whatever, if it is the bottom, they're, they're all arm. flapping. Yeah. yeah. Then, yeah, maybe the, the hand ones. Yeah. Yeah. Hold, on, hold on to <laughs> the ones at the top, please. I'll hold on to the one at the top. Thank you. Yep. Oh my God. Okay. Uh, make a uh, investigation check to see how much of a benefit you're going to get from them holding these ropes. The rope seems a bit tighter, but is still whipping in the wind. This you this you you feel like is is not a, a moment of calculation; it is a moment of faith. Okay, then Drazad is he going is to put cleric. all of his faith into his creator, and he's going to see. He's going to for a moment. He's going to. <laughs> and then I oh, I don't know if this is a good idea I mean okay I think what I'm gonna do because Drazad's really good at physics right um, I'm gonna <laughs> he does make weapons I, I would say tracks yeah. I'm gonna lay I'm gonna hold on to one side okay and I'm gonna wrap have the other like where the rope is you're gonna make gonna yourself hang. a plank yeah. And then I'm going to wrap my tail around one of the sides at the bottom. So okay. I'm just going to like scoot myself along and then move my tail for extra support. Okay. I get the obstacle. I'm going to say. The top rope and the bottom rope. Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> yes. Make a religion check. You guys have no idea oh, what I am doing. Okay. Oh the my mind God. intervention. Get it. Ni- yeah! ni- 19. <laughs> okay. That's uh, the best rule we've had all night. <laughs> After saying fucking rage. <laughs> after saying a prayer to your deity, you feel uh, emboldened, uh, knowing that your friends are there to support you. Your God is there. You take a leap of faith, quite literally, and you begin to shimmy across the ropes, and you make it. And I just hurry. I just go. No I problem. Do. You do feel the ropes begin to shift a couple of times, but you catch yourself with your with your tail, uh, and you make it just behind Odd here. Yeah. And I'm, oh, oh my God! If you do not hurry up, I will kill you myself. <laughs> oh my! Oh my God! Odd. Oh my odd. Oh my odd. Yeah. Uh, odd, it's your go. Yeah, I'm gonna oh try and uh, cartwheel with my way, like uh, performs. Okay. My way across. Ooh. Um, twenty-two. Okay. Uh, as you move forward, the end is in sight but you are a bit more cautious than earlier, and you know not to move any further than uh, what you think you should. And there's about there's about 10 feet, 5 feet left for you to go. Oh, my God, wonderful. No more broken But you can boards. see the end in sight. Odd, you are doing such a good job. Drazan? Uh, same thing. Same I'm, thing? Yeah, just going to keep moving. How yeah. far is... Make another religion check for me. How far is Drazan for me? Drazan? Mm-hmm. Uh, he would be about 40 feet. 
Could I possibly tie my rope into a, a loopy loop and lasso him? Mm-hmm. You can de- you can definitely try. Okay. Uh, we'll make that a uh, we'll say survival again because you're you're trying to tie that a knot. wrangling yeah. check. <laughs> Down you go. Survival, you said. She throws the rope. Yes. Seventeen. <laughs> so, uh, FYI. Mm-hmm. Jose has appeared in, mm-hmm. in, in the loyalty Ooh, points. You now Jose, have a ridiculous amount of chaos points, yes. Jose. You are the lord of chaos in this chat, just so you know. You are the dungeon uh, master now. So far. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Keep us posted on if you decide to roll any. I know it's not attached, but I can roll it on my end. Uh, and we'll, 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 see what, we'll see what sort of aid That's you're right. able to offer our adventurers. So we my lasso got a 17. <laughs> <laughs> the Lord of Chaos can do either. Yeah, yeah. That is entirely <laughs> correct. Goodness. Sorry, Morgan. My lasso got a 17. Okay. Uh, yeah, as you uh, you kind of time it so a gust of wind, uh, as you throw it into the wind, the gust of wind carries the rope over Drazad, and you pull it tight at just the right moment. Drazad, so, you feel a rope cinch tight around your waist. So now I want to tie oh. it off at the end of the bridge. Okay. Like at the post. We'll use the same survival check. So yeah. you're able to knot it, uh, tie it off really well. Mm-hmm. Um, all of your time sort of uh, <clears throat> living on the land has really benefited you here. And you feel mm-hmm. extremely confident in what you've done. Um, odd? Um, yeah, I'm make my... My mage last... hand is still yeah. out there. What does it do? It I think it's Alex said it lowers the DC. Oh, but well, we, yeah. I don't know about how all much, right. but... That's a 13. Okay. With your 13, because you're just at the end, you sort of, um, you try to flourish, but you feel yourself slipping. So you just, you just jump, jump yeah. uh, and you, you land, um, not quite on your face, but you, you land on a knee and then you just pop up, throw your hands up <laughs> and turn to either <laughs> oh, yeah, side of the yeah. crowd. Uh, I missed it's, it's that. still landing. Yeah. That's right. There are a few people cheering. Uh, most people are hanging on the edge of uh, the the banisters, uh, just watching if anyone else is going to to nearly fall. But they see that this is just about finished. With uh, some of them are even beginning to leave and go back about the their business. We're on connected back to the like a easier way back. Um, you're underneath the bridge. Mm-hmm. So no, no. <laughs> I'm just checking. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> We'll, we'll, we'll circle back to okay. that. Drazad? You're tied you, have one, you have one more so check to make here. Yeah, yeah you yeah, could I'm just, fall. I'm just going to keep going. You're tied off with two ropes. Yeah. So, uh, I've got, I've got, we my got you. And yeah. there's a mage hand. And and everybody's mage hand everybody's you. willing you to I'm get there. praying. I have the OSHA regulations I am following. <laughs> <laughs> I, should, I should make it this time. The ocean hey. regulations. Oh, that is a 20, 23. Oh, <laughs> he did 23. Wow. Uh, you actually. Feeling this rope around you, have a moment of of clarity, and you feel as though you can do no wrong. You actually let go. You close your eyes and just begin walking forward, letting the fates guide you, and you reach the other side Old miraculously. We Let's see if it works out. Yo, Yo. all right, Jose, we're rolling it. Let's see what we get. I also am not sure if it's removing the points when they do that. Boom, 17? Should be. Yeah, it's a 17. Nice. Uh, yeah. nice. A 17 will have in the pool ready for uh, nice. for their next almost failure. <laughs> if anybody guessed that we were going to TPK at this bridge, point. you were wrong. Yeah. Sorry, yeah. guys. So <laughs> Take that crowd. <laughs> yeah. Watching us. Now that you all have reached the other side, the crowd begins to thin. The wind whips the bridge even further, but it no longer concerns you. Mm-hmm. A cacophony of voices fill the air. A symphony of dialects and haggling, punctuated by laughter and the occasional clink of coin. Shadows play hide and seek among the nooks and crannies before you, veiling secrets and whispered deals. Wooden structures form a perilous network of pathways and stalls that stretch across the expanse. Vibrant canopies flutter above, sheltering merchants who proudly display their wares, glittering trinkets, contraband, artifacts, and curiosities from distant lands. 
And one short individual stares at you from just a few feet ahead, seemingly perplexed at your being there. Sam, if uh, you would let them know what they see. Sure. So, uh, no. <laughs> Sam. Got him. Got him. Sam. So, um, <laughs> the four of you see a um, little tiny halfling, um, three foot six, kind of thin, little, little pudgy around around the tummy, the stump, the tummy. Atomic. Atomic. <laughs> Sounds um, like something a halfling would say. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, he has a uh, hood on. Is there light on me right now? Like, am I in? Like, would there be reflection anywhere? Oh, definitely. Uh, the yeah. sun is not quite set. Okay. Um, but because you're underneath the bridge, there is less light here mm-hmm. than typical. Um, a lot of what is lighting you at this point would be candlelight and a. Uh, sort of bluish pulse that comes from the stones that make the bridge up itself. So there's a, uh, he's, you know, leather, leather garb. He's got a hood on. Um, as he kind of turns, there's like a little bit of a flicker from under his hood. Um, very, very pale. Uh, and so who's the first one there or the front? Who looks the most uh, in charge? I was the first one to make it across. I don't know if I looked the most in charge. He probably looks. He, pr- he probably. Yeah, does I would say Odd looks the most in charge. <laughs> yeah. What are you doing? Um, scrambling for our lives, apparently. Why did you? Why did you come this way? Uh, was there an easier way? What? Who Who are you talking to? What? Who are you talking to? You for? <laughs> What about the? You, never mind. Um, Who are you talking to? Do you to? know a better way that we could have crossed I don't this know. bridge? Is there someone else with us? Uh, Who am I talking to? Odd, uh, this gentleman has your namesake. Because he's odd. I knew where you were going. <laughs> <laughs> this is odd. You're correct. No, no, this no, is this is odd. This is odd. odd. Are you I'm also? Odd. This whole scenario is odd. It's definitely. You're odd. A peculiar. Is that your nickname? It's a, it's Odd. A name. Do you know of a better way for us to have crossed? How did you get here? That, that way. Do not tell me there is an elevator to get here. Elevator. A shaft. A- is there a shaft? <laughs> uh, yeah, you you would know that the there lift. are That's multiple the, ways me- to get down here. Um, they're typically guarded as as secret. Um, but you would have gotten down through uh, a trap door in somebody's abode. Uh, there are plenty of ways to get down here. Uh, I mean, usually people, um, if they do come this way, they... Or is this all one y'all left with? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, you didn't lose anyone on the way? No. Damn. No, we all successfully... Seriously? Did you just say damn? <laughs> Do you wish us death? No, I just have a standing... Drazad, angry at this point, grabs his mace from his side. <laughs> oh, yeah. now? We just crossed a bridge. Two planks broke. He's really upset because we did lose somebody in our party. Did we? Who did we lose? Make a deception check. Trying to make no, dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, Apparently that's insight. what he wanted to hear. Okay. Insight? Yeah. yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> what did you roll, Sam? Tell you in a second. I didn't roll anything. 14. <laughs> God. <laughs> <laughs> Did not miss that. You know that Flora is just trying to get on your good side. No, I just uh, there's there's a pool, and if the people if they if someone lose someone, I get some money. You know, I mean, kind of. Oh, you've been against this. Not you specifically, just whoever goes across. It's kind of not kind cool, of a standing. Man. No, it's not, but it makes you. What money. do we collect? Because uh, I'm pretty sure I just want to. Good bet. You can just turn around and head back and go get your money uh, if you want. That's the easiest way to get the money, honestly. <laughs> what are you doing here? I'm, I was about to make my way... Uh, Across the bridge? Uh, no. Are you the person with the information? That depends on what you need. Well, we're looking for uh, a gnome. About your height, I guess. 
Run Could be a halfling. There would be no way of knowing. Yeah, run away. Who'd he call he, him a gnome? He, he possibly has some things to <laughs> say. God said it was a gnome. Yeah. <laughs> I know. I'm Keep role talking. playing. <laughs> <laughs> He's looking to pawn some stolen items. I might know your guy then. What's in it for me? We do not throw you onto the bridge. I don't think you could catch me. You still never told us what you were doing down here. Or who you are. Oh. I never got either of your names. Except for Odd. Mm-hmm. I'm Flora. You do not need to know my name. You don't need okay. to know his name. Odd too. Meloth. <laughs> oh, that's just it. Okay. Uh, Delnathania. Triple flib. Nice to meet you, Del Taco. That is a very long Del Taco. Del Taco. <laughs> Del Taco. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> What was it though? Because I've already forgotten. Del Nathania, triple flib. Thank you for <laughs> triple flib at the end. Flib. You're welcome. It rolls off the tongue. So it? Del Nathania. Yeah. What are you doing down here? Well, I was down at the fair and heard a ruckus up here, and there was too big of a crowd. And is there someone behind you? If you don't know who, where we can find this person, I'm sure someone else here can. Oh, I can, I, I can probably help you. You're just a gnome. Any gnome? Like I said, he's looking. We would know him when we see him, but he's looking to. Give me more about him. I mean, Look, if you need to know anything, he was part the of gnome the gnome had obsidian wares that we are looking for. Also, part of, part, probably part of the crest breakers, right? And he stole a bunch of stuff. Yeah, you whispered it away. Yeah, I forgot about that. <laughs> <laughs> Whisper successful. Yeah. <laughs> He's going to be staring at you. Mm-hmm. You said obsidian weaponry? Mm-hmm. I said obsidian wear. Like this. Thanks, Brett. And then pull out, my, pull out the spear I have. Brett, odd I am going to kill you. <laughs> you too. Why do you Brett. think he's a part of the Crestbreakers? Because he was... He said so? Yeah. He declared it loudly as he tried to kill a bunch of people and stole a bunch of weapons. Hang on. <laughs> Back. Back up. Hi, I'm Flora. Nice to meet you. I'd rather not. There's nice a, there's a rickety yeah, bridge yeah, behind yeah, us. Yeah, okay, a, hang on. There's a 10,000 foot drop. To you said the couch. Crest Breakers attacked a bunch of people? Yes. What do you know of them? Bullshit. We saw it happen. Not, Who's next? No, we saw like, it happen. They said that they were fighting for their freedom. Their freedom. And then... I want to know why. Stole a bunch of items, weapons. Are you part of them? <gasps> that doesn't sound exactly like something they would do. Yeah, he's the leader. Or something. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> we're, we're... We're... I'm fairly Are you new, new here. Yeah, I was about yeah, to say. Yeah, I was, I was about to say. I'm fairly new here. I wanted to know, it seemed like a pretty s- shitty situation that they were forced to be in. And we just wanted to find out their situation. Can I insight check when you say that's not something that we would we would do? They would do. They would they, do. They you they said would they do. would do. Yeah. You said that. Oh, sorry. He did say that. Alex. Sorry, but, but do can I still, I still insight check that? Sure. You're what? Rit. You would, yeah. <laughs> I rolled a 22. <laughs> I rolled a 6. <laughs> like I said, we're not after this guy. I'm more interested in what they were hoping to accomplish and why they need the weapon. So, from what I know about these, you call them press breakers? Yes. Um, they're not really the type to go straight to violence, mm. right? So, the attack, all those kind of things, seems a little... Um, forward yes are you sure you are you sure that's what they said definitely Positive. an act of desperation the leader on this ship called herself a crest breaker i was the only one on the ship who was not one of them they were his weapons where like- they were wares seems like wares maybe- of course 
Thank I don't you. think you. you know I don't think you wear weapons. But yeah. yes. <laughs> <laughs> Where are they? That was a that was a good one, Valar. Yeah. <laughs> well, I you know what I do know. Let's see if I can get this right, Alex. Correct me if I'm wrong. <laughs> He's right. Um, I'm about to say it. <laughs> uh, what I do know is uh, the Crossbreakers do fight for freedom. Um. Their own freedom or whose freedom? Freedom of Tahas. The big island? Yeah. yeah. From from what? Yes. Yeah. It's bigger than the castle. The council. They don't exactly have anyone's best interests at heart. Sorry. Um the council doesn't, or the crestbreakers don't. <laughs> What'd you say? Who doesn't have anyone's <laughs> best interest at heart? <laughs> the council. The council doesn't have the best. No. Uh, that's that's pretty much the gist I got of it, and one of the reasons. So why the crestbreakers are there. Yeah. It's it you know it's kind of like a. Um, an organization bringing about change. You know. They are rebels. Ah, uh, they probably wouldn't call themselves that. Well, that is fair. Um, you know. What would they call themselves? Don't know. The crest breakers. Have, the crest breakers thing. <laughs> oh, beat me to it. <laughs> Oddly, went over this already. Yeah. <laughs> you are sharp. Um, no, I mean it's. Can you take There's... us to these crest breakers? Because they. Might be able to. I do not think we should meet up with them necessarily. I don't think that's a good idea either. Cause see, but they're not dangerous. They they took me aboard a ship <laughs> alone with all of my weapons on it. And you're alive. And you're you're alive. alive. Because I. Your yeah, wares. Yeah, you're <laughs> Drazad has like <laughs> yeah. deep blue scales, and you just see. Pink appear yeah. on his cheek. <laughs> <laughs> I did not mention weapons. I said, Only you misheard me. You misheard me because of whatever you keep paying attention to behind you. What are you talking? There's nothing behind. Okay. Odd, uh, you're not the odd one no. here. Did you hear that? <sighs> what? That's, it's coming from behind you. Oh my god, I use Stalmaturgy. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, uh, Drazad, starting to get a little annoyed, but also like kind of curious about what is going on with this Del Taco human being. Um, is going. Does. Look, I do not want to show you this because we have just met, but I am fairly <laughs> confident in our abilities to kill you. Um, so. <laughs> I am going to give you, I would like, I'm going to show you something. And if the writing or anything or the seal on it looks familiar, we would like to know. And I not hand him, show him the writ of orders. May I? I would, you look with your hand, your eyes, not your hands. <laughs> you look with your hands, not your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Pull your eyeballs out. <laughs> <Stay up>. <laughs> 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 do I do I recognize these? Drazad is flustered. Um, <laughs> crawled across a bridge. Make an insight check. Sure. Sixteen. Okay. Uh, you know that this writ is not official. It has definitely been forged. Um, in blood. There, this is the the seal of the, mm -hmm. or a forged seal of the Crestbreakers. It's basically an order. It so it shows exactly what they're ordering. Then it is. Are you um, showing me just a long the seal list of wares? The... No, I'm showing you the writ. You know the wares. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and there there is a seal that has basically been impressed on it. It's embossed, um, and there is ink around the 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 bulk of it. Uh, but there are spots that. Uh, indicate that this was not an official seal. You can tell just based off of and it wasn't the, the forgeries you made. No, it's seen, not a crestbreaker you know? seal. Yeah. It's a seal of the Council of Tides, right? Yes. On the yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And that seal is fake. Yes. 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 So, may I touch it? 
Yes, that is fine. Okay, so you see here, and here, and here. Mm -hmm. This is a fake. Wow, you are so intelligent, let me tell you. Thank you. What makes you think it is a fake? Okay, you see here, and here, and here. (laughs) Yes, I do have eyeballs, thank you. However, this is the only one I have ever (laughs) seen. So what makes it, what what makes it fake? What should I have looked for in the future? Um... See here, here. <laughs> so this corner here should be a little further pressed in. Got it. This one is actually lipped up a little bit, and this one that should be a B. Oh, oh, oh. See, I thought it was some maybe a different language. I did not understand. Exactly. That's why I you got to find people. I, you are right. So a you're no. Right. Who w- would have had the means to fake this? I mean, anyone with a not-so-great forgery kit. Some wax and a... How do you fucking make a seal? Yeah. 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 (laughs) Wax and a stamp. Someone with the tools to make a stamp. (laughs) Yeah, someone who can make a stamp, but who isn't smart enough to make it properly. And does that strike you as the crest breakers? No, but also... Were they attacked? No, oh, no, they attacked. They were the port. aggressors. Yeah, see, that's not like them. I don't know them, so. No, I know you don't know them, but it's not. It is not like them. That's why I think if we could just talk well, to them. Well, did something happen? Like, or something put them in a position that would okay. make them outwardly aggressive like that? Oh, uh, correct me if I am wrong. They just shouted about fighting for their freedom. Did we not attack first? No, they attacked first. Okay. Your character would recall they did. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. okay. No, they they definitely attacked first, and and Del, one of them even threatened to kill a small child. A <laughs> Sorry. They have wares. <laughs> they have wares. If you have coin, um, sorry. <laughs> yeah, that really doesn't sound like them. They're not really willing to do, not that that's what it takes, but they're not really do, willing to do every anything that it takes. So do you think this was somebody pretending to be part yes, of the Yes, it sounds breakers? like you're suggesting yeah. that this was a staged incident. Probably a to... false flag, if you will. Point fingers at the crest breakers. <gasps> you know, the fancy man. It could what wait. About the fancy man? I told you I did not trust him. The one that was yeah, giving us I didn't, I didn't like no information, but all either. information. You do not know who I'm talking about. A fancy man could be literally anybody. But you seem like a wise person. Can I insight check that? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I rolled a six. <laughs> Fucking liar. Twenty-two. <laughs> <laughs> I do not think you're a wise person, but I do agree with you. Yeah. Mm. You know you are right. I am a very wise person. Thank you. You seem quite intelligent yourself. <laughs> I'm not even going to insight check. Uda reverse. <laughs> yeah. I take want a, to believe I it. <laughs> yeah. I go. <laughs> I am okay with us gaslighting so each other. I, <laughs> I don't think. I think if the Crestbreakers were to find out that someone was staging something against them. So then bring us to them. Yeah. How about well, say, who we would, about who, would who would want all of these weapons then? Yeah. Wares. 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 You do not wear weapons. Well, I don't understand. That or... I don't either. I mean, who, <laughs> who's the obvious the obvious threat against the Crestbreakers? The opposition would be the... From what it sounds like, the Council of Ties. Make a... History check. Fifteen. <laughs> no no answer immediately comes to mind. But you get the sense that there are people here that would know or be able to point you for or closer in the right direction. Um, and that might just happen to be the same people you were looking for. I think I, I think I might I might know someone. Not specifically. So the only thing that I'm concerned about is if the Crestbreakers were to find out. They might do something drastic. One of the people who attacked is being held in the prison yep. as well. The leader. Which prison? 
They said ask the, any guard uh, and, and they'll the, tell us where. No, they are. it was the uh, it was the prison in the castle. Like just in the castle? Under the castle. Under the I castle thought. is what huh. they said. One they, of those crest breakers that you're talking about. Yeah, the, the leader. leader. Their leader. Yeah, we yeah. were able the to apprehend who, her. The lady who was on the ship who claimed to be the leader. The ship lady. Ship lady. The fake. Mm. Right. The, Here's the, the thing. Potentially fake. The proclaimed crest breaker. I trust you guys. This was absolutely the crest breaker's doing. Yeah. From yeah. here on out. Yeah. Hmm? I thought. Yeah. Sure. Are you telling us you or said trying it to convince wasn't? us? I'm telling you. He just went out. Oh, wonderful. So it is them. <laughs> Sorry, you, you see just just. He didn't see because he was typing. <laughs> <laughs> so it I'm, is I'm them. Trying to, I'm trying to wing back at yes. you. Do you have something in your eye? No. <laughs> are you Are you sure? Okay. No. <laughs> <laughs> it seems we are learning he is a very literal person. Got it. Yeah. We are going to tell people who we meet <laughs> later. That I'll show you, too. That it was the Crest Breakers. But we all know that it wasn't. Well, that is what you are okay. telling us. We don't know. We're going we do to not deceive know that. Them. You don't know that. I know that. We don't know that you don't know that. But I know that you know exactly. that we yeah. don't know that <laughs> you know it. that. Yeah. Do I know <laughs> of a gnome? Exactly. I'm assuming I know of some gnome mm -hmm. in the fair somewhere. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you've seen plenty, <laughs> of, plenty <laughs> of gnomes. We've given gnome. you a whole race. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, like all the <laughs> racist he did, people. He did oh. have a bag. He had a bag of holding bag. with a bunch of weapons in it. Yeah. <laughs> That's what we know. Where? Yeah. yeah, he's definitely talking. <laughs> You have, you have, look, you have seen, as far as ever, kind of like you, you know how you say we go and we tell them we believe it is a crest breakers, but. I didn't say that. <laughs> uh, we, we will communicate to everyone that it was wares, but we know they were weapons. obsidian weapons. What? You saw the writ. <laughs> We're, we've got it now. We've got it figured Let's out. Let's go. We've got this. Um, We're on the same. I'll take them. them. Yeah. Do I know of any like shopkeeps who are gnomish down there? Uh, down here, these are mostly market stalls and just people that showing off their wares. No question. At any point, uh, any person could be at any stall. You're just sort of wandering like anyone and perusing that... wares. Is there a market or a trade here? Yeah. The entire... Uh, portion of the area you see before you seems to be set up as like an open trading, a free market uh, area. Under the bridge? So, where, yeah. yeah, where really? are we? Under, under, the, the, bridge. under the bridge, yeah. Under you are bridge. under the bridge, uh, standing suspended? on a, a yeah, it's yeah. A, a series of like wooden planks that are attached to the underside of the bridge, yeah. and these there are pathways that sort of wind in and, uh, wind in and out of stalls uh, and small buildings. So we had the big bridge? Mm-hmm. Do we have the little bridge or the little bridge? A, pr a platform under the bridge. Yeah, this runs like parallel Thank you. to the, to the yeah, bridge, directly like, under yeah, it. Think about like a, the Ewoks. It's an underbridge. Underneath, yeah, yeah, underneath the bridge. Yeah, she's trying to go under. Um, I mean, I can, look, I can show you around the iron. You can just call me D. All right. It's a long name. Del Nathania. All right, Del. D. D. Del. D. Taco. Um, we we don't we don't mean the, these guys any harm. And if somebody's trying to set them up, don't you think we need to talk to them? No. Why not? Y'all are all new here. I've been here for some time. Everyone else is new here. Yep. yep. Sometimes knowing things. Um, gives you an advantage. And right now, the five of us have an advantage. Okay. And right now, the five of us can get something that we all want with our advantage. You what follow we, me? What do we want? What do you want? Because we know what we want. Well, in fact, actually, I know what I want. I don't even necessarily know what these three want, but what do you want? Infamy. Infamy? That kind of perks my interest. Well, that is a 
odd thing to want. It is not the material. It isn't. You play an instrument? <laughs> Being a band? Poorly. <laughs> uh, poorly. Poorly. I can sing. <clears throat> okay. Pretty good. So myself. So, do people make it across this bridge often? No. Like, how, in the last, like, two months, how many people have made it across other than us four? Yeah. To your knowledge, maybe four, five? Um, so, like, the four of you? That about that many? Mm. It, so, there are other ways to get where we are now. Which is why it's kind of a surprise that y'all are here. And again, y'all lost me some money. Not that I had much to start with. How much did we lose you? So, I can probably, I can show you around. And if you guys don't mind me tagging along, yep. maybe we can help each other out. I help you with what you're looking for, mm -hmm. your wares. Are you trying to get them again? Get what again? The wares. The wares? You're trying to get them back? Yes. As they were stolen from us. They are very valuable. They are very high craftsmanship wares. They are, I mean, impeccable. They are not made around here. You can only Do find you know them from my home. where they went? No. If we knew that, we'd have out. them. It was a it's gnome a who was seemingly invisible at some point and ran away with a bag of holding. So we're looking for an invisible gnome. No, he was invisible at some point, I believe, because he snuck past a you variety of guards and for us. For a man. He might have been sneaking. We just didn't notice him. Okay. I know some gnomes, and I know some types of people who. Uh, deal in exotic weaponry so maybe we can um there's 17 in the chat find these weapons we maybe not tracking. these but maybe we can get some information about where they went why don't we just say instead of even bringing up i can't remember the name right now the crest crest breakers, crest breakers. instead of bringing up the crest breakers at all why don't we just say they were stolen okay i think that's a better plan of action sure. Okay, but that, right, that is a good, but we have to specifically not mention again that they are obsidian. No, no, you're right. We could, we could try and buy them? Where would we go? If somebody was going to fence these things, where would we go buy them? I am not going to buy my wares again. We're just looking for them. Fair enough. Yeah. Well, let's be Why on our way. Why don't you want anyone to know they're obsidian? Mm -hmm. It is less, it, the obsidian is a big part of it. Um... Obsidian is a very difficult thing to craft with, and it is a specialty of the place I am training, and have lived for a long time, and I am also particularly angry that I got tricked to come here across a boat. Gotcha. Yes. I understand. Mm -hmm. So that is why. By a group of pirates. By sure. who a I'm. group of pirates. Yeah. Yes. Right. Yes. Don't do that while we're talking with other people, though. Of course. Because that kind of <laughs> yeah. gives it away. Does it? Yeah. A little bit. Okay. Okay. <sighs> what? There's, there's no one again. back there. Hmm? Have we walked away from this bridge yet? No, you guys are basically standing in that one spot. Sick. I'm turn around. Do I see old girl on the other side of the bridge? So just as you're former vantage point couldn't see where the bridge ended mm -hmm. your now vantage point cannot see where the bridge oh, yeah, begins that's, yeah, okay, yeah that's true um, would you say the bridge was longer than 120 feet oh for sure damn it okay so not many people try make to it across, across this it. bridge huh no Drizad's gonna walk up to the bridge and both sides oh. cut it with his oh. mace you just see it fall. Um, the and wind actually catches it a bit as it sort of sways, way. and you can hear a clatter as it slams into the opposite side of the uh, structure. I apologize, but now we stick together because you will show us the way out of here as well. Oh, you just pissed off so many people. Mm, good. <laughs> 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 oh, shit. 
so I guess we gotta go then, right? Well, let's be on with it. And he puts his mace back on his head. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll lead him down. Let's, um... Oh. I'll try to find... Try to bring them down to somebody who would, um... Somebody who I would know... To have all the answers we need. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, so I, I, I want to find a fence the for... Um, I want to find a fence for stolen goods in general mm-hmm. because they don't want to specify that it's weaponry. Yeah. So I want to find that. You are looking for one particular individual that you know of. Uh, a tabaxi woman uh, who... Tabaxi. Meow. You know is in town currently. Uh, and sometimes comes in from long travels to peddle wares from faraway lands. Not always the most reliable wares. But typically shiny things that you know would fetch a high price in a place like this if they were to find the right buyer. They always have a keen sense for what goes in and out of Erethaos, and you get the feeling that they may have even heard something about this news already um their name is uh luciana and as you move through the pathways of the streets uh pathways of the iron fair you can hear all the voices all the different conversations um trying not to pay attention to them and stay focused on your goal make a uh survival check for me a natural 20. Hell yeah, it is. Plus 22. Okay. Plus two, not plus 22. <laughs> it's easy enough for you to navigate the crowd. And while doing so, you hear a few words specifically that stick out in your head from conversations happening around you. But they sound wispy, sort of airy. You hear echoes cease. Stand tall. Do we all hear this or just I would say just him. Okay. As he rolled a very, very high roll. Echoes cease? Mm-hmm. And stand tall. Stand tall. Does this ring any bells to me? No, it, Make a history it, check. It echoes. <laughs> Nobody asked you. Uh, it's this 12. chair, man. Sam okay. used to sit here. Uh-huh. <laughs> it's the Sam chair. Because of your uh, current goals, you know that this specifically may have something to do with the Zephyr Tongue. It is a manner of speaking found only here in the Iron Fair and is rumored to be the way that one finds a particularly well-hidden secret. Are you speaking? uh, Yes. Um, But you don't have time for that now. You continue to to press through the crowd and eventually you see on the far side of one of these wooden pathways... Manning a stall is Luciana. So the, the entire time that we have been walking, he has been just like as erratic as he was the whole time. Just constantly like walk, like watching behind him, watching behind the four of you, checking behind. I don't think there's I anyone too, back I'm going to be looking every time you look. Oh, yeah. It, it's almost it's almost panicked. Okay. I'm, look, I'm looking for my friend, though. Okay. Uh, make a perception check for me. I don't think there's anyone behind you. Okay. Um, As you sort of glance around and and use all your senses to look at every single face in the crowd, you don't see any that remind you of this person in particular. Mm -hmm. Um, But you do hear something. Certain words, as you maneuver this crowd, seem to stick out as wisps you hear above the depths secrets deep above the depths oh 
I'll like mouth that like above above the depths. Mm -hmm. Do I hear him say that? Um, yeah, you guys are close enough. Are you like whispering it? Or are you trying to? Yeah, I'm just like saying it like I heard it and trying to repeat it to myself like it makes sense. We're in the middle of something. Hold on to that. Okay, we'll say. Okay, Lucy, Luciana, B. It's hey. good to see you. Good to see you too. What can I help you with today? So, um, my friends are new here. Hello, friends. Customers, even. Maybe. Depends on what you have. And how cheap. So, um... What'd you say? And how cheap. Oh. <laughs> she gestures to the the uh, countertop that makes up this market stall, and you can see uh, a number of uh, items. None of them in particular... There's no theme, but they all seem to have some intrigue about them. They all definitely speak to you as something that you might want. What you got? Um, Real quick. Like, just, what are, what are the items? Hit us with that list, y'all. <laughs> no, hey, I, I hey, hey you got anything made of obsidian? Yeah, but the only thing that's You see a pair of boots. My mate sits on my you see um, a small uh, but very well-crafted glass vial that uh, flutes down into a sort of uh, uh, prismatic bottom uh, while the liquid that fills it is sort of a, a deep teal color uh, and only uh, resides within a small cylindrical column within the vial. Uh, you also see a uh, stone with an odd inscription on it. It's got your name on it. Mm -hmm. And you see no, a small pouch with something in it, but you don't know what. Interesting words you have. These are things that I have procured from all over. I bring them to you now because, well... They are unlike anything else you've ever seen. Really? Yes. Here you may have caught your eye as a performer. She sees the drum. These are boobs of dancing. They occasionally allow the wearer to break into a fit of dance. Fine wares indeed. Yes. Suitable for most parties and elegant affairs. Or perhaps your eye was drawn to this. And she pulls up the vial and turns it. She's like, if you are in search of happiness, that is a thing that money can buy you. This is an elixir of euphoria. Drinking this potion causes the user to feel an overwhelming sense of joy oh, and sexist. contentment. <laughs> yeah, it's, just, it's just straight up ecstasy. With a terrible <laughs> hangover. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Where's the, the club? The boots are 15 gold pieces. A wonderful price, even for this make. Even if they had this. I have 15 gold. I will buy those boots from you. Damn. A Get sale made. Yes. <laughs> I was going to try it'll, to. It'll, it'll help. If it'll help us with our. What's with, the word? With uh, our friends yeah. looking for it. <laughs> You they are sure to help that. you in any situation. Okay. Talk them down. Yeah, no, no, so no. mark off 15 gold, and yep. you now have Boots of Dancing. Okay. Dancing. Cursed boots, boots of Dancing. I did not boots get my dancing. money. Boots of Dancing. Boots of Dancing. Whatever you said. Nobody boots appreciated of dancing oh, earlier. Okay. I can't. You kind of did it like a oh, oh, shimmy when you did it. And we all heard boobs. boobs. And I heard boobs all of three dancing. Of us. Oh, no. All three of us <laughs> heard yes. boobs. Boobs of Dancing. Me and Sam were doing it, it's just a low cut crop top. And yeah, it's, just, yeah. <laughs> it's a breastplate for a drag queen. It's, <laughs> it's it, from Breath of the Wild. It's the. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> In a way, they are boots of dancing. You would you would imagine that such uh, a oh, movement would come strictly from the shoulders, but it is actually all in the feet. Oh. Fancy, fancy. Does Drazad see anything that she's laid out so far that he Which would consider boots? Of like a high value, like level of craftsmanship. Boots. Uh, if that makes sense, 
aside from the vial that holds the elixir of euphoria, none of these look like they're like extremely exquisitely well crafted by any sense. Uh, but at the very least, the uh, stone that has an odd marking on it mm-hmm. might draw your attention as a craftsman. I would. Ask, may I? May I pick up the stone? Of course. Um, actually, it may be better if. And she takes it in her hand and tosses it your way. Okay, and he goes. Huh! And tries okay. to. Uh, as you catch it, you hear a sound emitted. <laughs> that will not stop and is extremely annoying here ah! <laughs> <laughs> as, as you let it go it clangs across the ground and it it stops she says this is a stone of noisiness you might think it's a bit useless but i promise there is always a chance to use a bit of misdirection yes. how much is that 10 gold pieces would you let go of it for five? Oh, I'm sorry. I cannot. And and I, like, take my staff and make a bouquet of flowers. This is beautiful. Are you hoping to trade your staff? I would be open to such a trade. <laughs> the flowers. The flowers, I'm sorry to say, are not of much use to me. Mm. Mm. This stone does seem interesting. It is unfortunate I was robbed whenever first making it upon this island. So I apologize. I will have to pass. Did you perhaps come by way of the sapphire port? Did we? Yeah. We Mm -hmm. We did? How did you know? I have heard of these rumors. What rumors? A band of Undesirables stealing wares from a ship. Was that what was going on in the marketplace, I guess it is? The, the port, if you will? And they stole from you too? Well, no. I, got, I think pickpocketed because I was carrying about 15 gold. And then I it was gone later. But there was a commotion that I was kind of like further back in the crowd. So I couldn't quite see. But something was happening over there. And some little like goblin almost knocked me down too. Make a deception check. <laughs> some little goblin. <laughs> some little goblin. Maybe a gnome. Could have been a halfling. Could have been me. 13. That's what I, that was the joke earlier. As you continue to speak, she turns uh-huh, back to D. D, is this what you've come to talk to me about? I get the sense that your friends may have been involved. I'm not sure um, involved is the right word, but I think they're just interested. I see. I am also interested. Can you tell me anything more about what happened? Give me that stone. Um, Yeah, is the stone still on the ground? (laughs) Uh, No, (laughs) it landed back on the countertop. Sorry, I may have said ground, but no, we'll just okay, say no. yeah. No, it's fine. Does she have a back oh, area? Show the whole thing! God, no, no, I mean, no. a lot of these stalls are just, like, there. <laughs> up against the wall. Up, throw me either, yeah. uh, either up <laughs> against the wall or just sort of haphazardly <laughs> aligned in, like, uh, a U-shape. Like a farmer's market kind yeah. of thing. I chose you! Dang! I want to, I like, get behind a I stall. Like okay. And, and, like, I'll just say, like, I'll be right back. And then, like, while they're kind of talking and doing that stuff, I, I want to, like... Use my disguise kit to like change the color of my cloak. Put on some something that looks like facial hair and. So you're like hiding behind the stall. I'm just going back there for a second, get out of line of sight. Okay. And I'll throw the boots on too. Well, okay. Come out dancing. Whoa! 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 Mm, 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 mm. As you slip on the boots, mm-hmm. uh, you have one of them on. Uh, it begins to jive, and it's really hard to get the second on. Uh, make a uh, <laughs> make oh, an no. acrobatics check to see yeah. if you can keep your stop footing. dancing. No, no, Brent, no, Brent. This was an issue in like the 1800s. <laughs> Somebody <laughs> killed themselves doing this. Uh, acrobatics is eight. Okay, uh, as you go to slip on the second boot, your uh, leg that already has a boot on it slips out from under you, and you land flat on your ass. Uh, the leg is. Uh, Gyrating in the air, and you're able to get the second one on. It is doing this thing. Once you get them on, does it stop yeah, things? It is. It is um, Both legs. As you wonder this, uh, the boots 
continue to move and then slowly you feel control kind of come back to you. Okay. <laughs> yep. Okay. That's what I was Do I? <laughs> <laughs> she wouldn't be the right person to share the whole information with. Is that correct? Um, From my knowledge of her and what I'm looking for. Information on the whole. From your knowledge of her, you've known each other long enough. You would trust her, but maybe not with every single detail. Yeah. But enough to enough to give a little, get a little. Yeah. I have a symbol, I'm assuming, of some sort. Nah. Like that they wouldn't have noticed, but <laughs> Uh no. <laughs> okay. So then um flashes. Our, I don't know if you know, one of the, one of the rumors is that our mutual friend were involved. I have heard this rumor, but I thought it's to be uncharacteristic. I did too. Are you telling me to put stock into this? Definitely not a sure thing. Um, I'll need a I'll need a little bit of time, a little bit of um. I got some digging to do, but it's looking that way. Do we hear this conversation? Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah, we're not like hiding it or anything. I'm just not saying any actual. The it has been so some been time since we've seen each nonsense. other. How? How has your search gone? Have you had any luck with? Zephyr? Because as far as I know, they would be the only people to know the whole truth of this. I would not accuse them of being behind such a do we terrible... Know, do we know Zephyr? Is that a... The name sounds familiar. Do like, you... You, you would not. I'm so confused. Now are you looking for a oh, Zephyr? Okay. I thought you were looking for an Infamy. Infamy was what he wanted. What? Yeah, that's what he was looking for. Yeah, but that's not... Look at this. Okay, okay, yeah. okay. Okay, I get it now. Um, um, lizard scale. Mm -hmm. I haven't gotten very far. I think I... Just ignore your <laughs> Recently. <laughs> it wasn't really important. Just, see her subconsciously sort of straighten her back I do not speak with the Zephyr tongue myself but the things that I have heard that it is often better to listen and not speak food for thought my friend of course should you find the answers you seek you will relay them back to me yes of course if not that we are but if we were looking for where the wares would have gone do you know anyone who has come across anything um this happened in the last few days right <laughs> today. Today. today that day <laughs> that morning <laughs> any Rizad narrows his eyes. Anything uh, that would catch the interest of some deep old friends of ours that came through today? I'm not sure that our mutual friends would have heard of this just yet. And if they have, they have not acted. But I would tell you, they would be keen on righting these wrongs. Whether the deed was theirs or not, they would want to see this handled. What do you mean by that? C 
clear the air, or... Your friend's a bit blunt. That's his um, strength. Yes, he does not um, understand the uh, sarcasm. He doesn't really mince words. Make a persuasion check to see if you can get her to tell you flatly. Yeah, that one. No. <laughs> Whoa! Excuse me. Thank That's you. Funny. Yeah. <laughs> it was it was twenty. <laughs> and knocked off the front and rolled all the way to the other side to a one. <laughs> what you need to know is that living here in Eretheos is a complicated game. Yes. Yeah, there are many forces at work. Some against each other. Some with each other but all for their own motivations. You must be careful not to cross the wrong one. Who are the wrong ones? Depends on what you're doing. Are you back with your disguise? Mm-hmm. I feel like... <laughs> <laughs> you look different. Did you change your hair? Yeah, I did. It's nice. Yeah. You should keep it that In way. In my cloak. I did not notice. I don't like cloak. these boots. Good job. As you mention them, they start to. Yeah. <laughs> You're sort of like river dancing. Yeah. I, I, I like to think it's more of like the uh, Rasputin. Like. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they suit you well. You turn into Zoolander. I'll, 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 I'll fi- yeah, I'll find a used one. <clears throat> what was her name again? Luciana. Luciana. So, uh, Luciana. Um, can we come back and buy and sell stuff to you? Of course. Okay. I am always available. I may not be at this stall. Okay. But you can always find me if you look for me. You seem trustworthy. <laughs> I am. Kind of first come, first serve. Of course. The, I'm just ignoring that whole last sentence. Yeah. 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 Kind of first come, first serve. So she's not always over here, but... <clears throat> best ways around what what do you think's happening with your friends make a persuasion check to see if you can get her to t- again tell you flatly <laughs> Woo! Sorry. i can use 17 you can i'm gonna use 17 23 okay. <sighs> as i said before to d this group, the accused, it is unlike them to resort to such violence. Mm-hmm. I think there is someone else at work, but I am not one to throw accusations <laughs> around <laughs> haphazardly. I'll lean in real close and be like, Is it the council? Does the council want to take them out? I feel as though. Or at least put enough. I feel as though the crest breakers, at the very least, about the council. Okay. I feel as though the crest breakers, at the very least, would seek to blame the council. I'm saying, does the council have a vested interest in framing them? (laughs) Taking around, of course they do. There's something else. That's that's, I'm looking for that that nasty interaction. But I do wonder, would the council put up? their own men offer those lives in exchange for placing the blame on someone else the best way to start a war is to kill your own men we just finished the war two years ago the council is guess what possibly corrupt but i do not think (laughs) they are violent in my experience in my experience war makes people pliable (laughs) and bend to your will and if you don't have a war or a conflict the best way to make people bend to your will is to create one you did not say that (laughs) (laughs) he said it yesterday when you guys weren't there (laughs) Um, you did not say anything (laughs) like that you seem well traveled friend what you say is what you say would pass for truth in many circles. I Mine included. I agree. But it is not enough to simply believe a thing. You must know it. 
Right. I'm sorry, I cannot be of more use. D. But your friend knows people. What? <laughs> you know who would know the answers to this. Keep listening, friend. Now, if you would excuse me, I need to pedal my wares to a few other... Is she on a bike? Is this thing on a no. bike? No. Oh <laughs> I look like you got on a bike and said pedal up. No, she just kind of like <laughs> reared back, threw, threw her hands up. There are other customers, and as you have said, there is no gold left for me to blunder. <laughs> I'm, I, uh, I would like to give her one gold <laughs> and then too. wink at her. Because I learned how to wink earlier. <laughs> no, I like you. to give her one go and, and like place it in her hand and say like, "Hey, thank you so much." Of course, you've it shown has us been kindness that we haven't seen before. And would you I'd like to do some type of uh, like a persuasion check on her to like uh, give her that warm feeling inside? <laughs> okay. Would you uh, let that let's... rock go for eight? I'm sorry, I cannot do it. Um. Too yeah, we'll say we'll say persuasion. I'm trying to like make her remember me, or, like kind of in like a oh, endearing like way. Yeah. 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 Boom. Twenty-four. You are a good person. I can tell these things. I have seen many persons. You are a good one. I will remember you. Take care of yourself. <laughs> 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 it comes across as like almost sarcastic as like a like okay I get it but also oh, like no, she definitely will remember no, you I was yeah being very sincere like no that. I yeah yeah it's just you get the sense that like she's only got so many uh kind gestures and smiles yeah. that she can hand out yeah. before she's like okay I'm ready to make some more her money. batteries yeah her batteries small <laughs> As you all back away from her stall, people begin to flood in. Looking at the remaining items, you hear <laughs> super like annoying. <laughs> rock. Rock. Oh, it's the not rock. just the person who holds it that hears oh. that. No, everyone heard. Oh, that. I think you could throw it, and when it yeah, hits, yeah, that's what I, it goes, until ah! it, it does it until it's moved again. It's like yeah, a thaumaturgy rock. Very, yeah, exactly. I thought it was so just like you hear. It, I was like, I was like, how do you like put it in screen. someone's? Well, when it throws, wherever it lands, it it begins making the noise until somebody picks it up or moves it again. Oh, so touch is what stops it. Well, moving it. Is moving it, basically. Up. Moving activates and stops it. When you throw it, it lands, starts. When you pick it up, it stops again. Yep. Okay. And then you can throw it and it starts again. Okay. Exactly. Ah! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's <all. laughs> Basically that. Beautiful. <laughs> exactly that. Okay. Exactly that. <laughs> oh, no, That's I don't it. think so. So what are you all doing now? Seems like you know someone that we should talk to. Did you say something? Yes. I, I, you got some people up in that brain that keep talking to you. Who, who, who are you hearing? You. Who are you hearing? You keep talking to yourself over here. You heard it? Alex, I'd like to begin ritual casting Detect Magic. Oh okay. My God, I was just about to do the same thing. Um, as you prepare the spell uh, and Mabel. move your, your, your incantation in such a way that it activates, you see a flood of lights, uh, not to mention the bridge itself is exuding magic. Um, so much so that it is hard to tell exactly how many magical items and, and I'd like to focus it just to the here. group of us. If I can, like okay. I'm not like pull the, the well, yeah, but magic, but your I'm attention just is looking. There. Yeah. Just these people. Sure. Is Spear magic. Uh, no. My head is glowing, right? Your head is glowing. I have a boots are glowing. I, mm -hmm. got, I got a little glow coming off. Your cape I, is glowing. Under my cape and my boots, yeah, would be the only thing on me. What's that? What's under my... under your hood. I don't want to 
show you here. Can we find a like more secluded area? Yeah, you know just the place. Yeah. You're able to kind of I'll weed kinda... through some crowds to an area where people don't really make sails anymore uh, because the the boards that make up the ground are kind of rotted out, but you know exactly where to step. Can it's we fine. wait until Morgan gets back? She's going to want to hear this. No. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I asked. I want to know now. <laughs> She'll get the recap. Absolutely now. Well, I was going to say, we can... Okay. I really so... want to do it. Do it. Do it. We're leaving the area. Do it. Do okay, it. Um, as we're leaving the area, um, I'm going to go ahead. As we go to turn around, and my tail would normally like kind of probably like slap against something because I'm not really paying attention to it. I want to use thaumaturgy and make a shouting noise come from the opposite side of the table where I am or like in the crowd there. Mm -hmm. And I would like to try to swipe the stone with my tail. Okay. Make a sleight of hand check for me. Would I know of her reaction? Like, how bad would her reaction be if she tried to, if she caught somebody stealing from her? It would be bad. Okay. For everyone <laughs> involved? Yeah. yeah. Okay. You especially, because you're somebody she knows. Yeah. You come the claws. No, no, nothing else in the chat, right? We have, a, we have a D4. That's four. Right? That is correct. It, it was a... We have a four on the D4. If you want to take it from chat. I... Ooh, would like to take the D4. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Wait. Uh, what? No. What? I'll take I want to fail. I'll take the 17. That you already used that I already got used taken. Fuck, I wasn't paying attention. Yeah. <laughs> Shit. Okay, I'll there's take a, There's a four and a one still. We haven't used either, the right? Uh, the like, one also. No, I think we no, used the about the it. one. I didn't use no, he didn't. I didn't. Oh. He rolled a five and added his only his one. Got on it. He didn't. Okay, so there's a one and a four in the chat. In chat yeah. still. Take okay. I'm yeah. I'm definitely taking the four. So with the four, I got a fifteen. Okay. Roll again. Oh no, oh, you tied. You <laughs> Holy shit. Does he get to keep the four? No. <laughs> That's what got him the tie. Oh. Um. I dude. That's a two, three. Three total? Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> you feel the stone in your tail and everyone's attention is drawn to the, the loud noise you just made. Um, as you lift the stone, you swiftly put it into your empty bag, which has plenty of room thanks to all the stuff that dumped out of it. Ah, LOL. And LOL. as you blend into the crowd, you hear the sound of your thaumaturgy stop and... No one seems the wiser. Did she roll a nat one? Fuck <laughs> 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 <Mark> it! <laughs> we have a rock! <laughs> it's a really nice rock, though! <laughs> okay, okay, as Drazad gets out of the crowd and gets up, he goes, Oh my fucking god, I cannot believe what I just did. Oh my god, we have got to get out of here. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> if you were gonna show us what was under your hood, let us go hide. He now. was like feeling but the table with his tail. That's it. You just yeah. hear like. Here. You kind of like, you tap it. <laughs> you accidentally tap the rock, it starts yelling, and you like tap it again, it stops, and you pull it. <laughs> I go, oh, it's a three. And he goes, you put it in your bag and you walk away. And I was like, she rolled a one or something? <laughs> Right after they tied. Oh, no. Yeah, right after they tied. Oh Thanks God. to chat. Thank you guys so much. <laughs> that was a close one. You guys saved oh Use this rock God. to the best of my abilities. Yeah, so I'll take them off to a more secluded area. Okay. Um, I can't remember your character's name. Val Valoth. Valoth. Close to Valoth. Odd. Valoth. Uh, Valoth and Odd. Has asked me what is on my head, so I'll pull. I cast tech magic and it was glowing. Make, make oh. one more perception check as you're maneuvering. He has, like, a hood on. Uh, yeah. Perception is uh, mm -hmm. Voldemort. No, <laughs> Nine. Okay, never mind. Just okay. <laughs> Just nothing. Yeah. Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> nothing. Nothing. Nothing at all. <laughs> nothing. Continue along. <laughs> um, so he pulls the hood off, and uh, there is a. I guess to you it would be glowing some color that Alex can tell There's you a in rag. a second. Purple. A um, purple. <laughs> purple. Um, but it is a silver. almost dish 
Um, it looks like it's been like it looks like a very very thin piece of metal. It looks like it's been like hammered repeatedly. Like a he's got tin foil hat on. Hat on. <laughs> <laughs> no fucking way. <laughs> he's a voice. <laughs> <boy. laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> this protects me. Would I From know what? The, the magic to be of like? Because it says the school of magic. Is it like protection or abjuration? <laughs> yeah. uh, you yes. know, based on <laughs> the hood. type of magic yes. that it is, uh, that it has to do with so um, <laughs> enchantment magic. Okay. So, okay. That, what exactly? What? What are you hiding <laughs> from? What, what, what? I am not used to dealing with metals of that variety. Okay. So aluminium. Aluminium. <laughs> I made it. Oh, wonderful craftsmanship. Thank you. It mm-hmm. looks like shit. <laughs> yeah. 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 Like, uh-huh. I'm imagining the aliens guy, and he's like, yeah. so yeah. Yeah. I made it. <laughs> Val- Valoth takes out a book and starts to <laughs> write in it. Like just it. as you're as you're talking yeah. about it. So you know how when it gets really really quiet and you know you're by yourself because you've checked under every rug and every chair and every flake of yes, dust. Yes, of course. You should Have never you leave a stone unturned. Obviously. Twice. Okay. And you're alone. You know how you hear those whispers to you telling you to do bad things? No. Um, no, I cannot say that I do. Every now and then I hear my god talk to me though. Is I, that the same thing? Not the same thing. I, oh. I, I, I like raised my hand, but like, yeah. <laughs> yes. Okay. So wait, let me. Can I? I can help you. Okay, I'm going to ask you. Do I have permission to t- try to talk to you, but not with our mouths, and see if it sounds the same wait, as I want to know. I want the voices you hear. Yes, what tell us more about this this um, hat. When this you wear. say talk to me without our mouths. <laughs> yeah. He's done. With my my I have this earring right here. And I just go ahead and do it and I say hello in your head. Or I try to message you. Are you going to do it? <laughs> oh, fascinating. What what kind of metal is that? Did you do it? I yes, I did. I tried to do it. Do it again. It, um, I would do pref- it again. No, I would prefer not that the first time did not work. I know work honest. this time. Do it again. Are you sure it will work? Maybe, maybe you should take the aluminum and pu- 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 pull it up a pu- little bit. Sorry, that was scary. Okay, okay, put the voices in your head. Put it back on. I, that was not intentional. Oh my god. Okay, the only thing that's in my head right now is we're off, tri- off topic. I really hope chat heard Siri go yeah. off. Oh, yeah, that was I, the only thing in my head right now is the scene in the second Borat movie when he stays with the conspiracy theorists yes. for like a week mm-hmm. in the middle of COVID. And that's what I imagine <laughs> is happening. He's like, I can help you. <laughs> I was like, are those the voices in your head or is that my God talking to me? What is that? <laughs> it does not sound like them. It's not like I've ever heard before. <laughs> Do you think we're being controlled by people outside of us rolling I am little starting fears? To, I am starting to. Can you help me make one of those hats, too? Okay. Um, what was the actual question? I totally forgot. He said, um, what is it made of? Yeah. Um, because I, I sent you the message. I can see you. So I know I can go. It would go through, but it would not. Is magic or the hood was magic? The hat. The hat. The hat. Okay. Although it would be really funny if the hood was what was doing it the whole time. (laughs) (laughs) The hat. The hat. What is it made of? No, I don't think so. That is it. What it's made of is... No, you don't think so? What? What? (laughs) You just... I asked you what What your hat was was made made of, of. and then you said, no, I don't think so, and then turned back around. I don't think I didn't say that. You... Okay. So anyway. Uh Uh-huh. Well, it's I don't know. I made it. 
Great. You take a bunch of metal that I have at home. Oh, oh okay. You heat it up real hot. Yes, like in a forge. <laughs> yes. Real hot. Like you would... <laughs> Yes, that okay. Get all of those together. Uh, you take it in a little tub. Wonderful. <laughs> Do you pour it on your head? No, it cools <laughs> off in the water. <laughs> it cools off in the water. Yeah. Oh. And then Val is, is like furiously then, taking notes about this. Then you take it and you. See these? See these more? But there was a liquid, and then you just poured it into water that would cause a clump. That would make it form a... <laughs> so, do you have a mold no, of no, some no. fashion? He, pour, he poured it into no, a bowl. No, no mold. First. <coughs> it's way too hot he for poured it. He poured it into a bowl, he said. No, but even if you pour it into a bowl, it would take the shape of a bowl. <laughs> <laughs> Please, at any point, let me know if I'm wasting A very, <laughs> very thin layer. <laughs> Boom. This oh. hair on his head. So it is Under, even yeah. more malleable. Yeah, yeah, so I didn't know if you like put it on it like. No, it's like it's like, like bobby pinned okay, at the yeah. sides. So too. it's like a yarmulke. <laughs> 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 so, <laughs> and at what point did you yarmulke. imbue it with magics? <laughs> hmm? It's magical. That's how I I knew it was there. Oh my Your God. hat. This is truly fascinating, magic. odd. This is really? Cool. Yes. I need a hat, my friend. Huh. Oh, curious. Notice how Did some metal not know <laughs> it was magic. He writes. <laughs> Question mark. You've seen. <clears throat> should I? You should. Should you what? 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 Should you what? Should I tell you? Yes. Should, yes, of course you should tell me. But tell me what. <laughs> okay, so I've only told like forty people. This. Forty. That seems 40, like 40. Quite <laughs> only like all of my closest friends, and then other <laughs> people that I just met. <laughs> and then, like uh, five or six people I told drunk at a bar one night. My yeah. mom's okay. sister felt so really left out. You so. know, you know the sky. How there's a tear in it. Uh, yes. Yes. Notice that. You did that. You did the tear in the sky. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Is that where you got the metal? Am I the only one getting a headache? No, I have a constant headache. It's probably because... It, it might be because of the magics. Yeah. Are there two people in your head that are trying to talk to us right now? Just me. Hmm. And angrier me. Who... I think. Angry are you? <laughs> <laughs> um. <laughs> you know, <laughs> they're both so they're both me, <laughs> not a separate right. person. Oh my god! I have I. Oh my god! is having second thoughts on breaking the bridge. <laughs> <laughs> Who is this person that you know? <clears throat> That, that the shopkeep was telling us about. <laughs> you said something about <laughs> going deeper. Deeps? Uh, Deep sea? What did we say? <clears throat> um, <clears throat> yes. I heard something, like a whisper. What was it? I said it earlier. I don't remember. <laughs> I didn't write it down. <laughs> you. I heard it, I I yeah, you thing. guys would remember. Yeah. Uh, above the depths. <clears throat> Secrets deep. Yep. And there was space, a lot of space between the two things you heard. It was not like one. It's like verses. Yeah. So there are. Um, <clears throat> so the Iron Fair is. Do you need to look at this anymore? And I'll cut, he'll cover it back up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sketching it out. So. The Iron Fair is kind of um, ruled by really three separate groups <clears throat> run by, um, orchestrated by. One of them sounds very similar to what you're talking about or what you heard. Okay. Does that coincide with the person that the shopkeep told us to go find? I think it does. All right. So I think we should head there. 
This is our lead. Let's check it out. I'm going to need one of those hats. Oh, I got you. Okay, got so it. one more question for you. Yes. No. Um, you said someone, you created the scar in the sky. Mm-hmm. How'd you do that? I thought that was some heroes a long time ago. That's what they all say. Oh. <laughs> That's what they want you to That's think. what I've heard <laughs> through tales. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you have so much to learn. <laughs> okay, so my friends and I, yeah. <clears throat> we're going on a little tiny trek, trying to get some treasure. You know. How old are you? Old enough. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we are back to that ticket. <laughs> <laughs> um... There was the a, dragonborn learns to weak. There was a group of men. <laughs> and the men <laughs> had very... Never seen anything like it. Long, braided beards. They Orbs? Sp- no. Tall. Very oh. tall. And they spoke this weird language. Giants? No. Pirates? Not that tall. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. I have no idea. So, anyway. My friends and I were underground looking for this. And these big bearded men, like twisty, um, kind of did look dwarvish, except tall and skinny in the wrong color. Um, everything was fine. And then I had a splitting headache and I woke up somewhere else. This was on my head. But you made it. Did what? The thing on your head. Yeah, exactly. And it was just in your bag? So I don't take it off. But you said you woke up and it was on I your head, was it? I don't. And, then, and I won't. And you woke take up. Take it off. That's not what I'm asking. Stop. <laughs> I will not. <laughs> okay. So when you met these again? men, was it on your head? Yes. What's your name again? Okay. Delithania. Ripple Fib. So. Both of you. When you. That. When, it's just one of me. When you saw the bearded people, no. there was no hole in the sky. No. And then when you woke up, Boom. there was Splitting a hole in the headache, sky. Like a hole in the sky. Yeah. Huh? The sky is your head. <laughs> okay, wait. <laughs> so are we all just living inside of your head? <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. Uh, oh my god, we did not have time to put this in his mind. <laughs> can we can we contemplate this while we go and meet? Sure, sure. Yes. Well, I'm we very need, interested. You also still need to show us another way out of here. <clears throat> well, we're not... You want to leave? Um, we I need to look, go and meet the person I, you... So, we do need to go meet that person. Mm-hmm. Um, I will also tell you, not that it necessarily happens to uh, deal with us leaving per se, um, but I might have... Um, I might have uh, picked up a rock <laughs> off of your friend's table, so we should probably not go back to her. Are you kidding me? Um, no. And I would show you the rock, but I am afraid it will scream. <laughs> <laughs> but do not worry, it is in my backpack. <laughs> there, there are worse things for someone ten to steal other than a rock. rock. It was only it's ten gold, fine. I will make the gold will, up later. I there will. are worse you owe way more than that. I'm also the convinced that owes me you might have two people living inside your brain. No, just me. Yep. And us. <laughs> <laughs> this has been so good for me. I have so much to think about. Good. That is good. Um. <clears throat> not going back to Luciana. I wouldn't be here. Mm-hmm. You should just leave. No. No. I'll find... <laughs> You no, know, I'm going to stay. I will find your wares for you mm. and bring them back to you. Mm. See, I have already been bamboozled um, several times on the way to this place. Um, it is not going to happen again. He's not going to know. Who is not going to know what? What are you talking about? I am growing impatient. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Okay. Yeah. Uh, the five of you begin to sort of retrace your steps back to the busier part of the Iron Fair where you last remember hearing this sort of whispered phrase in the air. If all of you are actively listening, 
I'll have everyone make perception checks. Yeah, I was like, oh. <laughs> Seven. Fifteen. Perception check? <laughs> yep. Twenty. Oh my five. god. What a five. I can hear it all. <laughs> uh, Twenty-one. Okay. Make this thing go. So as you all sort of meander through the crowd, you hear a lot of murmurs and whispers, but none of them really stand out as anything tangible, anything that you can actually perceive aside from just white noise until you feel a wind breeze through and with it carries whispered words. The three of you hear this. Where echoes cease and waters call above the depths where we stand tall in silence brave take the leap plunge into the secrets deep Mm, jump off the bridge <gasps> that was that was that your voices, or was that my voices, or was that the stone? I don't I think it was yelled. any of those. I Did think you? it's just out here. That is true. The stone does yell <clears throat> distinctly. Uh, you and you, natural twenty and twenty-five, would notice that different words in this this sort of poem sounded like different. Voices? Voices. Even though they were whispered, you could tell that there was a different like inflection, different accents, and it felt like it was coming from different directions. And you only you picked up pieces of it as you got mm. to this point where all of it sort of collided. And you got all of it at once. Would I know of a place down here where there are calm waters and echo free? Zones. Uh, make a survival check. <clears throat> Relatively low DC. You've spent a lot of time here. Probably going to be okay. 18. Okay. You know, <clears throat> in particular, the place where you just were, a little bit further down, it's, it's, it's a bit treacherous because not only is the wood rotten, but there are actual holes in the ground. There comes a point where a structure once stood, stairs leading up to it. The structure has since collapsed, fallen into this ocean. But you know that whenever you're feeling overwhelmed, that spot is the most quiet, most personal space that you can be in where you you feel like you can recenter yourself. Okay, I'm gonna say something (laughs) kind of crazy. Where we just were, we were so freaking close. (laughs) (laughs) Let's go. Who who, who are we going to meet? Oh, Yeehaw. No. You'll see. I know. <laughs> and then I'm going to turn around and walk. <laughs> you all follow? Yeah. Am I the only one that has concerns with this man? I, I, I like share him. your concerns. I like him a lot. Let's go. I, I'm going like, to hang back and tell you. I don't. It seems to be what it makes the sense. Microphone. There are not two people. <laughs> that is. I don't. How does that? Let's follow him. And he does seem to be one our of, only lead at this point. Well, one why y'all hanging back? I'm telling you. So if you're sleeping, do we cease to exist? <laughs> only one way to find out. Bonk. <laughs> 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 I'm just asking you all these existential no. questions. I'm just like, causing a. <laughs> right, he's hanging on by a thread. You're just. <laughs> <laughs> Snip. Snip. <laughs> What happens if I pull here? We found a a conspiracy. What happens if I just take the hat off? (laughs) It's just his brain. It's just your brain. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. The hat is his skull. It doesn't take too extremely long to get back to where you were. Although this bridge that the Iron Fair is built under is quite long. It only takes up a small section of it. And as you get to the quieter areas where you were before, even beyond that, you see D begin to mind his footing, stepping only in 
the most solid areas. Uh, even keeping away from certain uh, areas that have rotted away completely. You follow in his footsteps until you reach what appears to be the very end of the Iron Fair. The very end of whatever was down here. Much of it has rotted away, as I mentioned earlier. There is a staircase that seemingly led up to a structure that is no longer there. And at the top of that staircase, uh, a splintered platform that looked to be at least four times its size before it fell sits alone above everything else close to the very underside of the what bridge. Does it, what does it like sound like here? Diving platform? What are you like? As you approach and as you are aware of this particular area, what you've become accustomed to so far, the whipping winds underneath the bridge of Narethus stops. Almost a droning white noise that you had heard before has ended. Everything feels so dead quiet. It unnerves you a bit. But as you ascend the stairs and you see the pulse of the blue lights exuding from the stonework of the Bridge of Narethus, you become even more aware of the water that is so far beneath you. And as you look over the platform, you can see far, far down below waves crashing up against one of its main structural members that uh, exists not but 200 feet away from this platform. Didn't the voices say to take a leap of faith and dive or something? Do you hear that? Take a leap, plunge into the secrets. <clears throat> yeah. Do you hear that? <clears throat> I hear nothing. No, I don't hear anything. I think this is where we jump. Wait, hold on. We just crossed a rickety bridge. <laughs> and we're specifically trying wait, not to wait, fall wait, into wait, the wait, water. Wait, so now we just come to the edge of this and jump straight in. In silence, when the Brave echoes cease, the deep. he'll have his back to the group. just fall backward. Okay. Oh, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> you, you all see as D just... Sweet. Oh yeah, I'm rushing to the edge to like look over and see. Make a perception check. I think it is. Either right or I'm dead. I'm going to use this day. Yellow. Oh yeah, that's 20, 22. You catch sight of him for a moment and then he's gone. Okay. You actually see his form as it plummets towards the ocean below shift hard back towards you not towards you up but towards you and the okay yeah linear so, direction as you fall something sucking you towards the stone or that's what it appears structure. to you i think i think we jump okay what watch me and then I'm gonna step off. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I jump to me. What happens with him? Same thing. It doesn't work. Do we know? Do I know? Well, because I was, I was, uh, make I a perception happen, check. So you I was, are like, watching watch me I'll, as, I'll I, say as with I step advantage. off. Yeah. Uh, that's seventeen was the first thing. Plus two, nineteen. Yeah, easily enough. You can see as he begins to plummet, he looks like he's going straight down, and then all of a sudden, swoop, guys, this, this, is, where, this is where the under. TPK happens. Okay, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, wait, do we see, hey, like, where he hey, goes? Hey. Just stop. It's gonna be alright. I'm diving and, uh, in, too. <laughs> <laughs> I am gonna hold your hand and take you with me. What is that? <laughs> <laughs> Grab him by the tail and pull him up. <laughs> hey, whoa! Knowing? Miss ma'am! Whoa! She just tried to die. <laughs> yeah, like, she's trying to do it too. Held. My turn. Yeah. <laughs> We're jumping off. Yay. Yay. Drizad remembering what he was supposed to do as far as silence goes because he did hear the weird voice in his head. 
Um, you're going to hear in your head, oh, I'm gonna kill you later! <laughs> I say out loud, start okay! Slapping the, start slapping the rock. Yeah. <laughs> He's in the backpack. <laughs> With anticipation in your heart and a bit of uh, misplaced trust you all take in this cryptic this. verse. Seriously. <laughs> you Max take the plunge, leaping off of the edge. You plummet quickly and just long enough to second guess your faithful choice when a gust of wind breaks the silence and slams into your side, throwing your trajector- trajectory wildly off course. And suddenly, you are no longer following. You are no longer falling. A hidden weave of netting cradles you in midair and connects you to a small platform clinging directly to the edge of the bridge, leading to a small and unassuming door in the middle of the stone structure. As you all ponder exactly what it is you've stumbled upon and how this may link back to what happened earlier today, that is where we will end our session Shut for the night. Up. <laughs> Very nice. Thank you all so much for hanging out. We Thank had a you. lot of activity in chat. It was yeah. really good to see you guys. Uh, Brett in particular, Brett uh, Venable, thank you so much for the membership. I didn't get to say because we were doing a bunch of role play stuff. Thank you so much. Uh, glad to have you aboard the chaos. Check us out next time we play uh, next and Wednesday at 7 p.m. Central. And uh, thank you so much, Jose, for the oh, biggest yeah. donation yeah. we've ever seen. At Seeker, always good to see you, man. Got them um, points, boy. We'll, uh, boys. we'll keep tweaking this, uh, this system that we have. It seems like it worked pretty well for tonight, but I think mm-hmm. we can do even better. Check us out next time. And until then, go out there and make some chaos. Bye. Bye. <laughs> what? Do the points like stay until the next session? <laughs>